Picks for, pick for Max to start it off, Nilly. Uh, Max goes for Byzantines, and Hera goes for the expected Aztecs. Uh, yeah, and that is a pick I would absolutely not have expected. We did start the first days with the, like the super standard picks, but yeah. the last two days were just so many different civilizations. We did see Byzantines first today, and now again. Yeah. Do you think it's perhaps a weakness of her that he always chooses the meta civs? That he always chooses the, the best civilizations? You know what he's going to pick? Well, the thing is, they are the best civilizations for a reason. Yes. But also, like countering makes makes it easier, right? And yeah. if he's picking Aztecs now, I can guarantee you he's trying to play uh, Huns on C-Notes or Valley. Exactly, yeah. And so I think here, Byzantines have always been a tricky civilization for Mezzo to deal with. I, I think... I've seen some amazing games, actually. I think you played one where it might have been Incas versus Byzantines. Made it onto T90's YouTube. <laughs> uh, Map wasn't control <laughs> out, of the one, out of my mind. That wasn't the one I was thinking of, actually. <laughs> that wasn't the one I was thinking of. I was thinking one you lost, but it's okay. Your oh, wins are I'm memorable. Not, not. Your wins are memorable, too. Yeah. I'll have to upload that to get an invitation to NAC4. But, uh, <laughs> but, but anywho, like Byzantines, they have their cataphracts, which we so rarely see, but it's possibly potential. And then they have the very cheap archers. I mean, you could easily see Byzantines be flex... Right, I meant to say skirmish. Um, you could easily see Byzantines be flexible enough to give Mezzosips a really, really tough battle. The thing is, Byzantines for me feel like their bonus isn't that big, right? It's yeah, okay. mainly the imp tech, and it's <coughs> you're kind of basing a lot of strategies around that. Okay. Also, every time I play Byzantines, I feel like if I get it on random, I feel like please, my opponent should not get any civilizations with eagles because yes. I feel eagles are pretty strong against most non-cataphract units. Exactly, and it's not like Byzantines had the best knights. It's also really unrealistic to get the cataphracts early. You're definitely right about that. Now, map-wise, maps always play a role. I love Max's map. Uh, Max has this giant wood line to the south of his TC. His main gold... I mean, do you even need a mining camp for that? <laughs> yes, you do. But it's so close. I could easily see him walling this up. And then Hera's like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, no wood lines to the front, and well, nice defensive goals, we have to say that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, walls maybe to the top are, uh, well, useful, but <laughs> such a big front area for sure. Yeah, and I think if we're, if we're talking player styles, Hero probably excels on more open maps, Max excels on more closed maps, so Max gets a closed nice. off map at the start, already building these early houses. This is really smart thinking from Max. He's going to need the houses anyways, <laughs> and then he could just palisade walls the rest yeah so we have a small pause here not really sure what the issue is this maybe overlay guy can go over there He's and see it. what's happening and yeah we already hear the footsteps running <laughs> And one of these days, he's going to slip on the hardwood yeah. floors. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> well, we, we can see it in the back of the players then. And but yeah. already we see walls from Max. Already there's walls. So that is surprisingly it, early. Really, really early. I mean, does he want to, f to force Hera to go aggressive? Does he want to be full walled by minute 10 when Hera shows up with man at arms? Or what is this strategy from Max? Like, we just saw Byzantines on Golden Pit, played by Tato. Yes. And I was uh, sitting on the couch with Mr. The Max, yeah. and he said, Pop 25, with that amount of walls, you cannot really play a fast castle. So he knows if we are seeing that amount of walls, it has to be a high population. Interesting, yeah. So Max... Uh, He's so interesting to talk to. He's very specific. Dave and I were talking about it last night. And he'll be like, oh, no, that's not going to work. He only has four farms, not five. Like He's oddly specific with every single strategy. So, yes, if you're walling early, there's a villagers you don't have collecting resources. And uh, I expect to see a later uptime for Max. He actually finds his sheep there. That's nice. And I expect Hera, especially with the bases open, to probably go for man-at-arms and potentially man-at-arms and towers. Yeah, and that knowledge is with all the Finns. I remember I learned a lot when I played with Rubenstock, another team member of Team mm -hmm. Finland. Yeah. And he's like always like, okay, you need that amount of gold, uh, of villagers on gold, if you want to play two archery rangers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the way they see the game is very good. The way I would say, and this might... Oh, Hera's going in for a laming attempt. I highly doubt this is going to work. Have we seen a successful uh, block lane at all in MAC3? Ooh, just I would say yes. Really? Do you remember who it was? No. <laughs> okay, yes is probably a good yes. There's been a lot of games, but uh, Hera just, just missing out on his opportunity there. 
And you can also fast forward a bit so that we are in sync with the player cams at the very top. Obviously, we're still in Dark Edge, so desyncing isn't the worst thing. The question is now, the Max with all his walls, what is his strategy behind it? He did still not build a barracks, something we often mm. see against the Meso Civilization, either Man at Arms or the Drush. Yeah, I think Hera's is looking for this, isn't he? That what's my opponent doing? Now, Hera has not seen the early walls. He's seen the two farms. I believe that might be a spec bug, but... He's looking around, he sees the villager, the villager is loomed, so it wouldn't be a very good fight for Hera to take. And meanwhile, Hera has his barracks, he's on his way to feudal. Again, this is standard. This is as standard as it gets from Hera, whereas Max, this is very different. It's a very different civilization pick, it's a very different strategy. Something I want to point out, those walls are so much better than the small walls from the wood line yeah. to the cliff. Because now crossbows over here yeah. cannot reach the wood line. That is so much better. And how many players would have just walled between the wood lines? I would say most players would probably have walled in between the wood lines. So Max thought about it correctly. Hera is now walled in. And Max is over at Hera's base. And Max sees what he should see. Uh, he sees the gold. He sees. Well, actually, he doesn't see too much. He just sees the mining camp right now. I'd like to see Max maybe loop around with his scout to scout what Hera is going for. Hera is going for the forward, and we have 24 pop from Max. Max is on his way to few lanes. So it feels very much like a defensive mindset from Max. Uh, maybe to get to Castle Age where there are some strong bonuses for Byzantines. I'd notice he does have a stone wall then here. I would love to see Cataphracts in this game, but they're so expensive. For now, Max will probably need defensive towers, so that stone will be helpful. And yeah, Hera has picked his spot. Hera will go for this group of Palisade Walls. He'll start attacking it with his Eagle. He will start attacking it with his Militia soon. He took care of the Lion. He'll be working right on in. Now, will he try and house hop here? There's a potential that if Hera wants to... Ooh. Well, Max was expecting the house hop which isn't even worth explaining now, but Max places a couple palisade walls behind here. Max just needs to delay. He's building a barracks, he can't do much. You back with me, Nilly? Yes, absolutely. All and right. yeah, I like this defense so far. He's making sure that he has those walls. Mm -hmm. Also notable that those Byzantine's houses and palisade walls have more HP, so he yes. will buy a bit more time. Yeah, nice job from Max there as well. I don't think he'll lose his villager. He did get a free hits in on that scout. And both scouts are weak now. And Hera wants through. Now, what should Max do? Well, first off, it's very important that Max uh, maintains some control of his berry. So I love Hera's first tower. But Max probably will make a few archers and skirms, and he needs a defensive tower. That archer range is a bit weird to me. Most of the time, you want to build the archer range a bit closer, trying to generate a wall a towards wall, the yeah. TC. But this one is kind of a no man's land. Yeah, and and if he would have walled it, uh, sorry, would have built it here, mm -hmm. then Hera couldn't waltz through. Hera could waltz through. So this pressure is really tough for Max to deal with right now. He has to wall in this villager. It just seems a little bit unnecessary. But also, if you build it there, it feels like such a good attack spot for Hera, right? The four minute arms would get instant value. If they're at the top there now, the next tower of Hera wouldn't really be in the safe area of the first one. Yeah, okay. Well, Hera does not have stone. Uh, Hera is also, or was briefly housed. He's on stone, so he'll bring some in soon, but that means he can't build another tower. Uh, Max will actually start off with skirmishers, and you talked about it, man. Skirmishers, an archer or two, not so good against eagles. And that's probably what Hera's going to be thinking about in this game. Yeah, that's what he said, right? They have so many bonuses for Ooh. their units. Oh, what is that villager rush about? Uh, Hera oh, quick walled it, though. I don't think that Max can rush this down. Uh. He can, and he can yes. delete another palisade wall there as well. Could attack with three villagers. Yeah. And yeah, I think he will get that tower down, but next tower already set up, and that archer range is gone after building nothing. Yeah, yeah, I don't love the archer range. Now we see f more walls from the max. Now, both players have been under pressure. Both players have been housed a few times, so a lot of population caps. I think it's quite nice that, that max can get his berries back, though. That's hundreds of food. Yeah, so it makes it so much easier to get into Castle Age. He has enough farms to have a stable economy to mm -hmm. keep, well, the villager production for now, but obviously we have to think about the long game, and yeah. the long game is also now Hera may be blocking the main gold spot of the Max. Yeah, and I think it was probably a mistake for Max. Like, what about not build the range, Palisade Wall towards your TC, and send four villagers to stone? And he's just now going to stone, so he can't build defensive towers. That gold is Hera's now. And we saw how incredibly well Yo was defending forwards all game long. Yeah, and he yeah. was just wall, send four on stone, tower <coughs> up, and have the better economy. And the Max may be too late on stone, as you said. Yeah, I think it is. So that tower is definitely going up. It denies some farms. 
As so far, I think Hera will be liking his position. I think the only time this gets really risky for Hera, well, it's the it's at any point Max can afford to counterattack. So as long as he continues to make Max respond to him, as Max is again housed, very sloppy game one, uh, then he's fine. Yeah. I, I would expect, uh, what are you going to counter with? Yeah, three <laughs> spearmen, uh, yeah. one spearman, three skirmishers. I wouldn't be too scared of that. Yeah, I don't even love this tower from Max. I, I think Hera has chosen the right battle plan in game one, and I'm still, I've still yet to see what Byzantines can really do here. The, the one thing that's interesting to me, though, is that the Byzantine player is now on stone. Mm -hmm. And so, so if at any point Max goes up and builds a castle, he could free up his, his uh, map a little bit, get access to gold, and maybe a few cataphracts. He would get a lot of style points I there for sure. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, you can't tell, the, I want the, to see the it. The dream is real, but <laughs> you need a lot of um, economy to go for yes. those. And then you still can only produce out of one castle. And then the monks from Aztecs can convert it. Aztecs can counter everything. It's crazy. Uh, nice little farm eco here. I just want to check Hera's resources. Hera has 400 food, 350 gold. So it looks to me like Hera, who's actually so confident he's going to take some of that main gold from Max. I think Hera's probably going to be up well before the Max. Hera already also saving incredible amount of resources because he didn't wall anything. Look at that. He's playing so, yep. so open. We mentioned yep. the very open map. But if you put the aggression to your opponent, yeah. a bad map doesn't matter. Exactly. What was Max thinking with Byzantines? It's the first time we've seen it picked on Arabia in not just not just NAC3, any tournament in a long time. Oh, man. Is it, is it the camel counter to Hunt? Because mm. Hunt, if you just go mass skirmishers, mass camels, yeah. Hunts are struggling against that. It's true. I mean, the Huns obviously have a lot of flexibility. They're faster producing stables. Do you think he was expecting Huns and not Mezzo? Uh, like, we will see Huns from Hera if yes. we see more land maps. Yes. This is probably his favorite civilization. He might just think, okay, there's another map where he even likes them more on yeah. Arabia. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess we'll find out, right? We'll find out, but for now, Hera, he's he's built another barracks. This one's forward, so he is definitely going to be confident, or is confident. Three, oh. four barrack eagles definitely could be incoming to this base. Yeah. And he is 30% up to Castle Age. On the other side, we are looking at ay, 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 low 334 food and 115 gold. Look how many farms that Max had to delete. One, two, three, four. Uh, quick math, 240 wood worth of farms deleted. Villager time wasted. Hera, none of that. No oh. idle time whatsoever. This is the benefit, as you said, Nilly, of not walling and just focusing solely on the aggression. Beautiful move. If we scroll a bit down here, the max, he knows eagles can mm. easily jump under yeah. the TC. Normally you wall in front of it, but the towers are preventing that. Therefore, the max walls behind yes. the TC, not allowing the eagles to jump. It's also not something that Hera will see. He might have an idea. It's definitely worth it to go eagles anyway. There's still a lot of farms you can hit, but yeah, he doesn't have an idea of that. Max realizes his situation is dire, at least. At least he knows, and he's going to try and prevent it from getting worse. Yeah, all gating up as well. Now he finally has resources to click up. 160 oh, stone man. at the moment. Is sending more villagers on stone. This is going to be a castle defense. Yeah, but where is the castle going to go? There's still so many farms that are exposed. There's so many areas Hera can hit. And, and even if Hera doesn't kill anything, I think he can expand his economy even further at home. I think it will be just shortly before the TC to secure right the gold. Nah, a bit more to the left-hand side because you want to protect the gold. Yeah. You want to kill the towers there because if you build it a bit too far to the right-hand side, another tower goes up at the top. My concern is, is he comfortably going to be able to build that castle? Uh, if you fast forward uh, 20 seconds, you will know that... <laughs> The castle will be pretty tricky. <laughs> oh, Hera's like in your face. Wow. See, th this is a confident player. Playing open, tons of eagles, knows when he's ahead, not doubting it at all. And uh, the big now thing, what? Like, this is also Hera knowing how far he was ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if, if he builds this castle and the max is 80%, he will just take 15 villagers, build the castle, and, and Hera then will... Hera, it's a huge waste for Hera. It's over at that... Well, not over, but... Well, it's... Yeah, the, the other golds as well. I mean, it's not like Max had the best map for his additional gold piles. This one's to the north. There's no chance at that. Where's that third one, Nilly? He has it on the back, but that's only going to last so long. Oh, yeah. villager gets picked off. Oh. Beautiful play from Harry. He's so known for that. At the woodland. Yeah, now he opens oh, the gate, no! Tristan! Oh, wait! Okay. Oh, Harry didn't realize. Oh, well, he did at least kill one, and or that one now <laughs> that's walled behind funny. this. Oh, the tower almost helped out. I just, I just, I don't like Max's position at all. 
In case yeah. you couldn't tell, it's, it's not good. <laughs> uh, he's getting armor, so he's definitely yeah. thinking cataphracts. But, where, but no. where does he build his castle? He has to build it in the back of his base, up against the edge of the map. Uh, uh, that's protecting nothing. That uh, uh, No chance. Like, okay, the only option now, he has the market, <laughs> is to rush to if. To yeah. free his main gold spot, but That's then his true. eco is completely stuck at the 37 yeah, villagers yeah. that he has now. And so many villagers are idle and not on the farms. Hera will probably ram down that TC. There's not much Max can do to, to defend that. No. Appreciate the fact that Max is going to continue to try here. Um, oh, wait. Did well, Max know about... Does he know about the like, gold? Is he? Oh, he's going to try a sweet. sneaky TC on the gold? And does Hera know about that? I'm Hera oh, does see okay, the gold, okay. but he, you know, if he's scanning, maybe he won't realize. Yeah, he has yet to send any units over there. He should see the trees then, right? And a single tower should block the wood line there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. It would, it would be so easy for Hera to deny that, but it is possibly also, a way. Also, a mangonel from here to the top. Impossible to kill. Yeah. It's completely protected by the wood line and the castle from the other side. Well, Hera has the game in his hands now. It's a matter of if he can close it out. I think that's pretty clear. Three villagers ahead. You'd expect Hera to now expand his, his economy behind this. He has not done so yet. No second T... Oh, there it is. Yep, second TC. And, of course, his villagers have not been idled at all. Whew, but we also said the aggression is nice, but the counterattack could be lethal. Yeah. And now we see a stable to the right-hand side. Slightly to the side of the... Ah, a bit more in the back here. <laughs> it's Max. Yeah, I was yeah. checking the opposite corner. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> and, well, those knights, maybe if he gets 2-3 in there, Hera... Yeah. Could be in some trouble. I see Max is trying to scout to see what Hera's up to. Hera will have the benefit of having the TCs, but some of his wood lines are very open. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Hera found the gold now. Hera yeah. found the gold. And I think, nearly uh, what you said is right. I think it'd make a whole lot of sense for Hera to no longer pressure this main TC. That doesn't matter anymore. Pressure this town center. Yeah, and as I said, like a single mangonel, impossible to really kill it ever. Cataphracts need to jump in very deep. They are doing massive amount of da damage they're, against they're the They're strong. Eagle. 17 per hit. Yeah, they're very strong. and. Uh, I was thinking maybe something like Cataphract Skirm, it's, it just seems so unrealistic, but something like that would be good because you still do have to worry about the Aztec monks and Hera's uh, throwing down a monastery with three villagers now. Yeah, he knows the situation becomes dire if the Cataphracts are coming in, <laughs> but now two extra TCs for yeah. Hera, yep. so not that many exposed villagers. Uh, but it's amazing to me how Max is still in this one somehow, I'm not sure how this well, eagle got in. Look at the KD, Tristan. Yeah, yeah. Three to three, like so much happened. But not much died. And Max is still going to three TCs at around the same time as Hera. Now, uh, units are going to die here. I doubt Max is even looking at this. Uh, Hera's also not looking at it. Look at the eagles. Hera. Uh, there we go. Hera reacts. No, he didn't react. The villager ran into the... Close to the... Ah, now he's at <laughs> Now the you're a little bit behind. No worries. But wait, the eagles are still just passing. There's two here. The TC's up. Max, please realize this. Please realize this, Max. Meanwhile, he's actually attacking Hera. The other oh. side, Hera fails with the quick wall. This is a close game all of a sudden. It's really not unrealistic that Max could possibly come back from this if he just realizes here in Garrisons. Oh my god, Max! Okay. Oh, he built a farm there and he realized. Finally, the reaction here. Cataphracts can obviously easily yeah, clear yeah. this one up. But also, like, how did he squeeze in there? It looked so weird. Uh, between the, the one, one tile, yeah. Okay, now we're getting into the intense phase. Maybe let's take a look at the POVs of both players. We have at the left-hand side, the Max, right-hand side, Mr. Hera. All right, wait, you had to tell me which one was Max? I could kind of the tell. Casters. <laughs> yeah, the casters? Which one's Max? Oh, yeah, the, the, all, the, all the blocks. <laughs> but you, you see this, the focus he's putting on that one area? I love how he has the scout with him. And you'll, you'll see it here in a second. I'm sure he'll go back to it. And he, oh, well, he lost this scout. And he wanted that to snipe any monks. Now this might be a little bit dangerous. Go to Hera's point of view next. See what he's up to. I bet you he's probably looking an awful lot at those monks at home. See it. Wait for expanding with the farms. Army coming in. That could be dangerous. And then monks at home. Yeah, he definitely needs to defend there. Well... <clears throat> Harris seems to be doing all right now. 64 villagers versus the 50 of Max. Of course, he still has that castle up on the main gold. You can see the eagles. I think it's a dangerous move to run into Max's economy uh, with the cataphracts around, but Hera probably recognizes that Max doesn't have that much as a counter, so this might be his time. And if anything, it might keep Max at home a little bit. Well, at the moment, he isn't uh, really keeping too much at home. He uh, is producing a bit and, yeah, yeah, maybe running a bit under the TC I felt there. like the farmer was going to open up the gate <laughs> and the eagles would run in, so I was getting really, really yeah, anxious there. But that's a really weird farmer as well, right? He has to go through the gate. I know. Like, it's... 
Well, just what, asking what for trouble. What kind of king is this one? Like, yeah, we build a fortress, we have a castle back at home, but you have to farm outside of our Listen, game. Listen, some people move on, all right? <laughs> As some people, look, look at him opening the gate. Some people move on, some people, they just like their job, all right? Yeah. They don't care about the, the extra pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hera, Hera's monk micro is normally really good. And, oh, he gets two conversions. That's huge. He gets a cataphract and a knight. Ooh. What are the chances that Hera converts the stable and makes the lots of warriors in this uh, game? We saw them <laughs> earlier today, so oh god, what have been the double meme? Yeah. And well, I think that wouldn't be the worst addition even. I think they kind of counter knights even. I uh, would, not knights, uh, cataphracts. cataphracts. I would just make one for the memes. <laughs> I'd just make one for the memes. Uh, Hera, ten percent of the way to castle age, or sorry, the imperial age. What about Max? Because remember, it's cheap for him, but he's also been making cataphracts, which cost food and gold. Yeah, he's at the limit with all the resources. Has fallen in stone in the bank. Next oh. raid, coming over the right hand side, oh. but nice walls. Hello, nice quick wall. Why did he open the top? They can now get out so much easier. Oh, but they're backing out. The oh. cataphracts are doing quite some damage. And Max he's is going to block it. it. And oh. the ostrich, the ostrich coming in clutch. Block it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's so amazing. <laughs> so oh. The speed slowed down for us right there so we could witness it. I guess it wasn't too bad for Hera. Yeah. Thanks to Eve for providing the slow motion yeah. for the ostrich block. Yeah, it's, it's it's not a bug, it's a feature. Oh, second castle by Hera, by the way, next mm. to the center there. Oh, that's yeah, so good. That's just so good. That's the spot where I earlier said yeah. Magnolia would be good. But it's also like, how do you ever win a trap war then? Now 55% <coughs> yeah. or wherever we are, 52% now for Mr. Hera. <laughs> and he should just kill everything. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if Hera didn't have forward castles, as Hera tries to convert a scout here, and he will, well, he will fail, because it was deleted. Um, I, I feel as though if, if there were no forward castles, Castle Age Cataphracts could fight Imperial Age Eagles. Mm -hmm. Max could maybe go Light Cav uh, against the monks and have a real opportunity. But nothing that Max has can engage underneath castles, and Hera has this perfect launching point for his trebs and for his military. So. I expect Max, Max's castle to probably die if he doesn't address it. If he tries to address it, he's running into two castles. I mean, Hera already got fletching, so he knows the importance of, of what the castles are going to do. And Max has rams. He realizes the weakness. He'll delete the palisade walls. This could be crazy. Uh oh, but we see already some house walls now trying to defend this. He sees the attack. Another house wall might need to send more villagers yeah. to the top. Even jumps through the castle to build better houses. There's a perfect reaction by Hera. Yeah, perfect reaction. Stone walls just needs to buy some time. Probably should use his castles to target some of the units here. Now he needs monks for conversions. He's making some jaguars. Quite simply, if Hera defends this, Hera will win game one. Absolutely, and Jaguars are such a bad addition against that, but yeah. just throwing any meat at the front, buying yep. himself time is so, so good. Rams. Also, the castles have Botkin, and as we know, Cataphracts are with only one Pierce Armor. Yes. Mangano behind this as well, Hera will perfect. hold this and get the W. Yeah, perfect, perfect. That ram right there probably will be taken out. These rams, not enough. They really couldn't find the position there because of Hera's walls. He had four or five rams, and only two or three were attacking the castles at once. Also, you need to commit all of them to one castle. I don't think you need to split it up like that. Uh, Max chose Byzantines, he went out on the limb with something different, but there's a reason Hera chose Aztecs. Yeah, and there's a reason why we don't see Byzantines that often. I think it was the counter pick <coughs> to Hans. Maybe, honestly, wild prediction, we will see another counter pick to Hans on one of the later maps. Maybe something like Malians or Berbers. Could be something I... Berbers. I, I, Max would be the player to or maybe it, pick or Berbers. Indians? Something like... Or oh, Indians, Indians isn't that great. But uh, I think Indians is pretty good, yeah. I, uh, nowadays you die to Harvard years too, too much. I think it was at one point, mm -hmm. but let's take a look at the statistics. Yeah, sure. Anyways, uh, fun to talk about. 30 kills for Hera, 23 deaths. KD is not what it's about. It's all about the economy and the positioning from Hera. Uh, I think he did everything near perfect there. Uh, the forward was good. I, I feel like if you're going for counter picks, do you feel like you are as good as your opponent or do you think you need to out-strategize your opponent? Because for me, the Byzantines pick was almost a low confidence pick. Or a great preparation pick that didn't pay out. That would be Finland for you, right? Like a great preparation, yeah. Well, I mean, we could probably cast that set, uh, that, that matchup five different times, and it could play out five different ways. So it's a nice attempt. We got to see the cataphracts. I'm happy with that. <laughs> so that works. <laughs> yeah, they got some kills in against the villagers there. Obviously, they needed to hit more than the knights if we have forging. Yep. And yeah. What can I say? It just felt like the Max was a bit too late on the tower, on yeah. the stone, because he built one tower. If he built the other tower where the archer range yeah. was, 
There's no way to go for Hera. Or, or builds the range in a better position. Yeah, I mean, the, the range, just wall or forget about the range and farm. You know, it's just the, the response to the aggression was not good for Max. I think if he builds the archer range where we initially thought, the men at arms plus eagle plus the four villagers yeah. will still tear it down with another tower. Sure. Protection. I think I think the, the first tower was bad. It was it was not covering that northern area, the mm -hmm. opening, but... But yeah, that, that's what forwards do to you. You need to immediately respond. You need to make decisions quick. Man at Arm Tower is the most brutal strategy to play against for that reason. You either underreact or overreact, and you're punished. Yeah, that is that is so true. And well, it is it is not easy. He had an okay map. I felt it was so close in so many yeah. areas. That's why he went for the body strategy because he felt okay. Yeah. I should have an easy defense. Just I think, one tiny mistake. I think it's possible that he didn't scout it in time to, to respond to it. Because he, he only knew about it when the units arrived. Still, you got to expect that someone's going to go for the right position with their towers, though. And you're buying yourself time. He built the palisade walls perfectly behind this. And mm -hmm. that's just the reaction. Built three palisades behind it. Pull, pull the villagers on the barriers a bit to the other side so that the tower, tower. isn't yep. instantly killing them. And then send three, four villagers on stone. Yeah. We make it seem so easy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure why I'm sitting here. Max Crew should cast and I should tower defend. Oh boy, Max versus Nilly show match? Max versus Hera. <laughs> and Nilly versus Hera. Yeah, okay, there we go. Well, next game is going to be on the home map for Max. So we're not going to be talking about walls anymore. We'll be talking about islands. Uh, Hera loves his Vikings. He loves to go galleys. Do you expect that again here? Because I don't expect that from Max. I feel like there's always some mind games. Is it going to be Italians? Is it going to be Vikings? I'm a big fan of other civilizations on water as well, but it seems like mm -hmm. those are the strongest. I'm expecting Hera to go Vikings, and, well, this will be the show of confidence because the Max now kind of knows, again, what Hera is going for or most likely yeah, yeah. going for. Is he trying to counter? Is he trying to play any mind games? Or is he going for the mirror match? I think, okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let, me, let me quickly uh, type here, uh, okay. hey, Hera, 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 let us jump into the game. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Preparation, and we had that at ECL finals, I think MBL versus Viper, and that was, for me, the best tournament of ECL finals. Oh yeah, because of the towers? Oh, that was incredible, it's one of the most fun I've had casting in a long, long time. So welcome, ladies and gents, NAC3. We're trying to decide on who gets a pass to the semifinals and who goes to the quarterfinals. In the blue, we have Hera, who won the previous game. In the red, we have the Max, and Max has gone for Incas. What are your thoughts, Nelly? Hallelujah. So Incas, as you all know, can build the towers cheaper. Mm -hmm. They, well, house bonus isn't that important, but the villagers also, Benefiting from the Black attacks upgrades, from yeah. Blacksmith. So they can get plus one attack, plus one defense. So basically you can land five villagers, maybe even try to land twice. Yeah, yeah. And if Hera has bad resources, he could die. <coughs> Let's take a close look at Hera's island and where his golds and stones. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not great. The golds, all the stones, all in the same part of the map. Also, it's not something you can really stop, is it? The transports can be created in Dark Age, so you can have a shipment of villagers to your opponent's island before they're even in feudal to make navy. Yeah, and then five villagers, the normal reaction is, okay, if you land with five villagers, I pull, pull six. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. I will always have the numbers and we'll just smash your offense. But now you have to pull like eight or nine because villagers. Because of the blacksmith upgrades, exactly. And, and there's always an interesting thing when someone goes land on water. See, the person, let's say the person in Hera's shoes, because we are expecting towers here, Hera's likely going to start adding some fishing ships, especially with Italians, and we'll talk more about that. The fishing ships are cheap. It's a great source of food eco. So that's normally the response when you realize your opponent's not going on water. But sometimes if you overreact to the landing, then the, the opponent who has gone for the landing will then go back on water and take out those fishing ships. So you need to have an incredible balance. But I have to say, there's one good thing about this. Hera's going to expect it. This is not going to be a surprise, you know, there's, there's no way that Hera will not sense this coming because you can see the civilization his opponent has. Yeah, but also then the question is, what is the reaction if he yeah. is expecting it? Will he just send two villagers on stone and already try to defend the front? Yeah. It doesn't feel too great. Let's just think about it. Hera is completely paranoid yeah. and the Max just plays three dogs fire galley. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. I, I still feel like we'll see front dock from Max, uh, fast transport. Uh, maybe not. I mean, if you're going for Tower Rush, you might want to go back dock to keep those fishing ships protected. I like front dock because your opponent can never get onto Fire Galley since he's Vikings. 
Right? Oh no, we're playing it's it's Zen. It's Italians. Oh. It's a, I don't like the front dock against Italians. But you, front dock for Hera. I think if I were Hera, I would back dock because then you can, in the event that you do get pressured on water more than you're expecting, your fish are safer, and then you just scout and build out posts on your land to prevent the towers. Hmm. Hard to say though. It's very hard to say, and and also keep in mind that these games can go on for a long long, long time, because uh, you can damage someone, you can slow them down, but uh, it's very hard to finish someone off. Well, the thing is, this isn't our typical island game, right? We will never see 40 Galleons against 40 Longbows in this scenario with those civilizations. Yeah, this is true. This is true. I mean, we're not going to see Longboats because there's no Vikings. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was so, like, I, I still, like, I said, yeah, but Hera loves his Vikings, and I still mm -hmm. didn't, like, it's so deep in me. Yeah, we're, we're so sure that Hera's going to pick Vikings, we're still calling them Vikings. That's right, I'm surprised as well. Hmm. It is interesting to me, I feel like a small part of them are picking these civilizations. Like, Max is through, right? So, do you think Max would choose these civilizations if he wasn't already through? Yes. Or, you, 100%. Think, you think he would? 100%. Interesting. Okay, well, anyways. It's, it's just so much on the line, Tristan. It's in the semifinals. You avoid Viper because you are always in the other semifinal. I mean, I, I understand You get that. a day off. You get guaranteed top four money. But to me, I feel like it's it, it's a little bit too risky. It is the max, but there's a reason meta civs exist. There's a reason it's been Italians and Vikings consistently for like a long, long time. But I, I got to have faith in max. I, I gotta uh, at least appreciate the fact that he's doing something very different here. And well, we should be expecting to see the Feudal Age clicks and the transports very soon. There it is for the max. Yeah, well, exactly what we expected. And also what I want to say, there is a reason why we have seen non-meta civs being the so, so successful, right? Land with a double kill to begin the series. Mm -hmm. We had... Yeah, th that was pretty good. Doubt winning both his Bulgarian games. Uh, yeah. And so far... I think, like, Viper, obviously, with his non-meta sieves, pretty successful as well. And I want to see and go into the POV, maybe, of Hera and see how scared he is of a landing. Yeah, what's he doing here? He's on his way to the Feudal Age now. This looks like a standard build. He has not sent any to stone. He'll send more to wood, send more where, to gold. Where would you I, I think send he just your scout? Oh, to the right, for sure. Mm -hmm. and I think he's just done that. The scout should be on the way there. Yeah, okay. this is this is a water build. This okay. is a two dock build. Oh, oh, oh. he saw him. He, oh. he, he must have seen it. Oh, he was he was actually taking the fish more to the right. Yeah, possibly yeah. just he, for that reason. Like it was on screen. Ah, uh, he's scanning yeah, now. He, 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 he should know. Ah, he sees it. He, he sees, sees it. it. Oh, it's falling in the gold. Max is falling in the oh, gold. Oh boy. That's and Herod, what's funny here is the villagers you're going to have to send. The villagers that are free are villagers that are weak. So Herod's sending a few vills up, but they're weak. Here's Max with Age of Cubes. But Harris, uh, he's got one full HP villain, the others are weak. And he's going to send more villagers! He's going to send more villagers! Oh my god! Well, we're back now. Max is in the red for us. And uh, Max is fighting it off now. Now, he's not in Feudal Age, but he will have the wood for a blacksmith. And this is going to be the Nobaru rush. All hail Nobaru, man. <laughs> I think he's going to be at the meetup. All hail Nobaru. Let's go. Oh, this is so sick. One gold, kind of lost, not the most important thing. Yeah. Hera now rushing out, four villagers to up to the top. But the crazy thing about Incas is, like, normally you counter tower, but what Incas can do with more than five vills is they put five vills in their tower next to you, and then they batter down your tower with their upgraded villagers. The question is, where is he sending those villagers? And he's sending them indeed to the front. And what is that? Nine plus four? That's nine villagers now. Yeah, this this is really hard to stop. Now watch, Harold will go for the counter tower, but that means he'll be off gold. And I just heard the blacksmith, Max is getting armor. This is amazing play from Max. Just catching up to speed. I mean, Hera has lost both of his gold. Has to be said, Max is very fortunate with his positioning. But this has got to be frustrating to deal with. Okay, Fire Galina out from Hera on water. He's camping in front. Up now he's fish. going for the attack. Okay, okay, next tower being built by the Max. Not the greatest thing. I think it's mainly to start the tower war. But obviously, he can't afford fletching. And, and also, he doesn't have a lot of scouting, right? He does not know that Hera's taking stone over there. Hey, you're blind. It's not like a standard tower rush. I love how Hera's not forgetting about water. He is going right towards those fishing ships. And that will be a huge, huge boost for him. And Max needs to get out of there. Now, both stone, uh, it's both gold spots are completely blocked, though, right? Yeah. He walled one in. The um, other one is double tower. Double tower. Let's take a look. Can he send the villagers into the left-hand side tower and go for the double attack? Can he reach it? I, 
I think the concern I have for Max is his economy. When you send this many villagers forward, you only have so much economy. Huge mistake by Hera, in my opinion. He is rushing out the tower at the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he's only down to 36 stone now, wants to repair. Oh, Not he's also showing Max that there's a ta there's stone there. Uh oh, now he broke, and the villagers, they are going in, Tristan. Oh my goodness, if he goes in there, I mean, it's a vill fight soon. The palisade wall is down, that tower is going down, Hera. Uh, you have no chance, not against Inca villagers. Oh, with the, the tower wall behind it. Oh, quick wall? What is going on here? Villagers fighting, villagers getting weakened, villagers possibly dying, uh, Hera. How did he save that villager? That's incredible. So far, KD 0 2 0. Yeah, and thanks to E pathing, the units are getting blocked. But that's not bad for the max. That's it's what not. he wanted to do, anyways. Yeah, he wanted. He wants in here. Does not have attack, of course, so his villagers are just surviving a bit longer here. And keep in mind, on water, it's, it's about to be 2 to 1 for Hera with the fire ships. I think that's going to be the key for Hera. How can he stabilize his economy? Go to wood and make fishing ships. Well, fishing ships, but honestly, he cannot keep up the fire galley production, so... And uh, exactly, he won't have gold, he could lose everything else. Uh, I'm surprised that villager hasn't died yet. How is she a lot? She actually can't garrison! <laughs> she was blocked off! She was blocked off! And oh, Hera man. now needs to get out of there. Still control of the stone. That's good for Hera. Yeah. But now needs to retreat to the left-hand side. Huge loss of the wood line. Okay, one thing that Hera's doing, which is very important, is walling in his tower. Because if you don't do that against Incas, they will batter that down with their villagers. Now he's yeah. making an archery range now. You know what would be really sick? is if he can get enough gold for it, maybe transport some archers across. I mean, he could even transport villagers to the center gold if he needed access. Let's take a look at the line of sight of the max. What does he see? He knows about the island in the center. Of course, yeah. So I think he should be somewhat aware of that. Look at that. He, by accident, can so easily scout that even. Or, or do you now, if you're maxed, consider that you've done enough damage, just mine Harris gold oh, and go gee. back on water? I, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, because then you could take out the one area where Hera has an advantage, and that is with the fish. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's compare equals behind this. Hera, 36 workers. Yep. 30, but that's also fishing ships. Fishing ships. That is five or six fishing ships. And also Hera's villagers are not collecting the resources they need. They will be idled by uh, more towers from Max. And also, if you go back on water, you, you push Hera off of the berries as well. I mean, I think that that's the play now for Max. Okay, transporter now used, funnily enough. But I'm not really sure where he's going. Is he going to tower in front of the dock? Maybe triple archer range. Tristan? Is he going I for told the we talked about this. You weren't supposed to bring that up. Okay. Well, then maybe <laughs> just the tower and he goes for gold. <laughs> I mean, I does he want to take this gold just so he'll know if Hera ever shows up? I think that might be part of it. I, yeah, or just like knowing, okay, at one point maybe he lands there. That would be the gold he could take yeah. and just block it. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, towering it. Okay, so it's all about denying the golds now. Now, Hera has some options for gold. He could sell that stone for now. He, he's also building more fishing ships. I think this is still winnable for Hera with some market abuse. You see a lot of players now sell stone and sell wood when they need gold. And then with more eco, get to the next age faster. But he isn't that far ahead in eco, honestly. Oh, the tower at the top. Let's take a look mm. there. We have some fighting. And <laughs> villagers are trying to maybe I block I don't know this. if he survived. Oh, that was beautiful from Hera. And, oh, Inca villagers. Okay, it's died. That was a really sick play from him. Yeah, that would have been sick if that villager survived. And yeah. Yeah, so Hera continues with some more farming, but honestly, oh, some pressure on the barriers even at the front. Yeah, I, I think Hera needs to get out of here. I'm glad Max realized that. Hera really needs a market if he has not built one already. He has. Now, I'm comparing the resources the players have. Hera has way more food. If Max can take care of the fish, he needs to take care of the fish. I think the play is to go double dock on water. Go into his fog of war. For of the max. He has no idea that this is happening. He didn't scout the left-hand side at all. He didn't scout the left-hand side. Oh, he has, oh, he he has like, to know. He I'm has to know. controlling the full fish. No, he thinks he's controlling the fish now. Yeah, but the fishing ship, he's never killed the fishing ship. So he has yeah, to know that Hera just be relocated. Be the idol. Eh, I think that would be very, very poor of Hera to idle his fishing ships randomly. But it's so close. You think Hera should probably fish a little bit more to the left next time. Aye, aye, aye. One thing you need to remember is even if Hera gets Castle Age faster, Max is the one who has map control. And oh my god! Oh my god! Max is going to the left! He sees the fishing ships! Oh, that's such a good scouting intel. <laughs> and what is he doing with those villagers now? What? He is going back? It, they, they hop out of the transport, land in the fishing ship, hijack it, convert it over to your side. 
Uh, what is he doing? Like, I think he wants to tower out, here. Out, outpost trash? Outpost yes. dock? Outpost tower? Is that is that a good ta space for a tower? I don't think so. I don't understand. He, I, I think he wanted to tower the other side. What? What's he waiting for? He's waiting for wood for a dock? He doesn't have a lot of wood. He has seven on wood. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> These villagers are so confused. Let's take a look at the resources. We have 300 food for the max. And oh, boy. Hair is close. Okay. Hair will click up any second now. This was the worry. And oh, I hate that tower. I mean, why tower when you can go back on water? Max didn't think about it. All Hera has to do, he still has control of water, is redock, and his fishing ships will still fish. That's all he has to do. Hmm. Oh, oh, but Max is up with some crazy market abuse. Let's go. What? Bought 600 food, Nilly. What? He had 800 gold and 200 food. He just bought food. Hera, you've got to get out of here now, man. You've got to get these fishing ships out of here. Wow. That was surprisingly accurate from that tower. <laughs> yeah. Good sniper there, and well, you said it would have been bad if the Max wasn't scouting for mm -hmm. Hera's redock, and He's found he it now. did it at the left hand side, and also sent a fire galley at the right hand side. As you can see, now coming yeah. back to the front. I think he he's, he might go on water. I'm trying to think what the play is for Max. Do you go eagles maybe uh, on your opponent's land, or do you just go back on water? Because I think I th water. I think you go water. So, yeah. So easy because as we know, islands it, it is so valuable to control the water. He's going for forging behind this though. Ooh. Oh no, that is Hera and Hera's what is going that? knights. He's going knights at home, and Max does not see the stables. Oh, he's going to build an outpost. He's going to build an outpost and see the stables. I mean, that's a huge investment for Hera just to reclaim land that he should have in the first place. I think Max will probably wall in some villagers. Yes, he might take a loss. And he, that villager dies, but it's worth it to know that this is coming. Absolutely, and he can't even afford knights, right? I think this is mainly for scouts oh. because he was expecting yeah. a knight push. Yeah, uh, and push. yeah, maybe. I mean, t two stable scouts is a bit heavy investment, but Herod does have enough stone for a castle. So let's keep that in mind. He could easily castle here. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, maybe castle here and get that gold back. Yeah, well, let's take a look at that. How much stone does he have? 630. Yeah, that's absolutely an option. Maybe you just wanted to get a bit more map control. Thing is, where do you build the perfect castle here? Can, can we go to Max's point of view real quick? Let's go to Max's point of view. We'll, we'll get to see the blocks again. But you notice where Max is focusing now. He's blue on his point of view. He's going onto water. He's researching war galley. Uh, Hera's not doing that, by the way. Hera's making fire galleys, but they will not be upgraded. So what I think Max... Visitors? Blocking out. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Is that a monastery? No, that is a barracks now. Ooh. Wants to block that area. He has 300 stone in the bank and potentially, well, could maybe do some more towers there. I think blocking from the top area would be really good. All right, let's switch back here. Hera has just now clicked War Galley, but it will be late. He also doesn't have any sneaky demos in here. It's all fires. He'll have seven fire galleys versus the five fire galleys from the max. A max might be able to reclaim water, which is so, so huge. And then maybe transport and reclaim some land on the left. Yeah. And he, let's take a look at the land. The castle is going up yeah. there. And nice castle. Yeah, he will easily get all that um, gold there. Yeah, so, so Hera needs to retreat. He loses one fishing ship. He will lose two here in a second. But I think when the upgrade comes in, it should be a relatively close fight. Yep. Very close numbers. Hera will hold. And I have to say, Hera's play has not been bad. This is not easy to deal with. And Max just wants to make some eagles. And he does not realize he's getting hit on this gold. If he did not have Incas, these villagers all would have died. But if every single one dies, if Max can't f save one, he will for sure lose his forward position. And there you go. Hera has attack and he has armor on the scouts, Nilly. So uh, good, good uh, upgrades there. But, uh, He'll get his gold back, and we'll see where things go from here. Do the upgrades really do that much, honestly? Because those scouts... That armor probably wasn't useful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big demo, big demo, big demo, and boom! That's going to be huge! Ooh. That was huge! Holy. That was amazing, man! And now the tower can kill off everything! Yeah. Look at that! It's beautiful! Tower. Beautiful! Oh, God, look at that. Can he maybe finish all three of them? He is not really hitting. Oh. Send in more fires, Max. Send in your other fires. They're all so weak. Oh, okay, but maybe we have a repair behind this. Finally, Hera gets back onto gold. He has to be happy with that. And, well, I, hmm. I'm not really sure who came ahead out of this all this bamboozle, but I don't mind. Yeah, I, I don't mind either. Max is going to switch up the strategy now, okay? He knows that Hera has, has made two stable scouts. He knows Hera had to build a castle. What that means is Hera's not going to be on three town centers. He 
Second town center, third town center. He's going to look for land eco. I'm pretty sure it will be all water aggression and land eco for Max now. Uh, perhaps getting to imp faster than Italians could be to play. If you do that, then... Ooh. Look at that. Oh, I see the scouts. He wasn't satisfied with only laming with Palisade Wall. He wants to upgrade. Stone walls. <laughs> Let's get fortified while Max. Let's see yeah. what can happen. Guard towers while you're at it. But but now Max is going to boom, man. Max is going to boom. He has not forgotten about water. And I I'm surprised, actually, that, that he's been able to have so much success against Italians because Italians are so good for booming and going on water themselves. It's just because of the successful tower rush. Yeah, he blocked this one quite, quite nicely. And also, <coughs> the we have to say it, very unfortunate resource response, right? Yeah. Double gold there. I love Max. I love how annoying he's being here. And, and uh, he continues to quick wall his villager and stonewall. Ooh. Hera is sending his scouts where in this transport? And maybe now the upgrades pay I off? Would, I would laugh if he, if he drops them off at the tower. <laughs> and then the tower, and then the transport ship dies to the tower and the scouts are stuck. <laughs> I also love, you see how Max is checking the back corners for fish? Uh, probably didn't do it early enough in Feudal Age, but in Castle Age to look for docks back there is very, very wise. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He did it, well, at the roughly, what was it, like 15, 17 minute mark, something in that area. And well, now we have the first landing of the scouts, which is actually so much better because the Max already has some scouts. But look at that, the Max scouted the landing and is reacting appro appropriately at home. Yeah, Max uh, still has that villager forward for those that are wondering. That's such a huge investment. Yeah, Max sees it coming, walling up. Beautiful. Uh, one thing I have to say, Hera is on two TCs and it's only 15, it's 59 villagers versus 58. So there's some excellent potential for Hera still to click up to the Imperial Age faster and, and win water. That's what it's got to be. Now, is he going to have the gold long term? Well, it's going to be delayed. <laughs> it's going to be massively delayed, but I think he will get that. I honestly think with four knights, if he sees, okay, I cannot land anyways, just kill the tower, and mm, yeah. the four knights eventually will break through the walls. Yeah, I think Max is the type of person, though, to build more walls behind or repair or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? If anyone <laughs> yeah, him, Max yeah. is, Ma I've seen this villager do some crazy things in this game, so would not surprise me at all. So what are the next steps of the players? Hera's resources. He has 400 food, 300 gold yeah. here. On the other side, the max, as we can see, 400 similar. food, 300 gold. So very similar there. And Hera well, has a lot of farms. And he also, he's also had fishing ships. And it's cheaper for Italians to go to Imp. So I think what Hera's doing is quite good here. Uh, I also like how he is still heavy on stone to maybe build more castles on the shoreline for when this goes late. Highly downhill transport villagers, but I'd love to see it. Like, I, I don't want, want to call it, but is there an option that the Max lands and tries to snack the relics? They Ooh. are kind of exposed. The Max knows where they are. Yeah. In Islands, everyone spawns with two relics. Yep. Getting three to one advantage would be huge. I think it's very likely that Hera attempts to transport these knights. Max is not paying close attention to his fire. It's, it's taken out a fishing ship, but once that fire goes down, I think Hera will go for it. Did Hera see that Max was in the center? Uh, most likely. He did not. <laughs> no, what? he didn't see the tower. The tower didn't shoot at him at all, so that's interesting. Oh. And now we have a ramp. Again, just a ton of investment for yeah. Hera just to get this gold back. Yeah. It, it's such an annoying play from Max. And it's still walled. If the Max jumps out and gets the wall a bit higher in HP, but yeah, it is tricky to get out of the, there on that area. Oh, the quick wall from Max. Hera tried to run in there with the scouts to snipe the monk. Instead, the spear snipes the scout, and we have a redog from Max. I'm definitely, I'm definitely paying attention to the imp times. Max is about to click up, and we're going to see Hera click up soon as well, I imagine. Man, this could be really close. It, it, abs it couldn't be. It is. Yeah. Wow. There's, there goes Max. Hera, he has his buildings if he needs to. Really just needs to sell some resources, and he'll be on the way. Well, Hera now finds out the hard way that Hera, uh, Max is in the center. Yeah, well, it's not the most important thing for now, right? It is something that will kick in the long run. For this now, is it is the rush to Imperial Age, yeah. and then what are we going for? Are we going for fast fires, or is it the massive Galleon War? I, I don't see how anyone can have a lot of success landing. If Hera goes, goes here with this little peninsula with barracks, or if Max goes here, it could be interesting. I could see Eagles and Condo Tierras raiding, but you have to prioritize water. And it will be, I, I assume it's going to be fast fires and, and galleons for both of them, right? Because they both get access to that. It's just, I prefer Italians because their dock techs, dock techs 
are 50% cheaper. Yeah, you get to shift right so much earlier, which saves tons of resources. Mm -hmm. And well, let's see. Now both players are adding into the center. This is so super close. The max still with the Q tower shouldn't really add too much. And at the moment, it is only one relic to one relic taken. It should be 2v2 in the long run. I think these knights are going to the center gold. Ooh. Max might like that though. Max can garrison his knight. Uh, or garrison the villagers, sorry. Uh, uh, if he reacts. <laughs> yeah, um. Uh, oh boy. Okay, you got one. But now if he snipes the transport. He's gonna snipe the transport! And so the knights will be stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> and now just send in some. Yeah, now we got some galleys! Let's go! War galleys! So that was actually a waste. Like, yeah, take the, the war yeah. galleys are now killing it. Yeah, I mean, it's something. I feel like I'd prefer to be in Hera's position with that, but that is pretty funny. It might even get this final villager. Oh, we'll see. Oh, look at how he's trying to debate with the knight now. Ah, that's smart thinking. He sees that the villager. Quick now ball. I want to see the max recording. Yeah, <laughs> nah, it's not worth it, man. I know a Hera and Viper would do it. Uh, it's not worth it. You know what? This actually is a bit of a distraction for Max anyways. Uh, the Knights are tanking some shots, and in comes Hera with his own war galleys. Okay, that was really, really well done by him. Yeah. And they, well, he's taking out some that could be the important numbers. <laughs> Let's take a look at overall water numbers. I can see nine warships against nine warships. Yeah, it's really close, and then Italians have the cheaper text. I love how Hera dealt with the early threats. I, I think, to me, it was the fishing ships. But look at this. Five villagers to the left-hand side. Ooh. Max wants to go back on land with something. Okay. Now, can we go to Hera's point of view? Let's see what Hera's that. up to here. Hera has enough stone for a castle himself. Is Max going to castle Second drop one. that? That would be sick. He, <laughs> he, he did have a bit too little stone for that, though. I oh, think he can do it. Max has 600 right now. Oh, 626. Oh, oh, he's building a guard tower. Hera doesn't see... Oh, he sees the red on the mini-map. Bottom right, you can yeah, see the red on the mini-map. It is so tricky though. Oh, no, oh, no he, he spotted it. it. He spotted it. Okay, so he's not happy about that. What is his reaction? He's not sending anything. Okay, now some horses use... He's pulling... He's relocating the everything. What? He just could have fought with the villagers, no? He could have fought with the villagers, and these towers aren't even of range of each other. There's two towers. Oh, my goodness. There's cases where you underreact. There's cases where you overreact. I think that was an overreaction. Feels a bit like it. It was five villager landing. Yeah, those are heavily upgraded. What? But he's casting all the way back there because of two towers. That's not really protecting too much in the long run. Oh, man. It's like if there's eagles coming in, I get it. You need something there, mm. but... Two towers, really? You must have been scared of that, right? And this is why the max is getting in your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. You are scared. Like, what if we had two barracks there? You're trying to fight it down yep. and suddenly <clears throat> lose 15 villagers. Exactly. Then we would have said, like, hey, why isn't he running? This is a good point. But I think you got to play off what you see, right? And Hera now, I mean, he could maybe take the gold in the center. He definitely has the edge on water. But this is this is gonna you know Max. We saw him earlier with both the islands that he was on with his villagers. He's gonna remain a threat here. He's gonna be a presence here, and he is now castling there. Yeah, I think honestly, bombard cannon. One single bombard cannon could be the hero unit to clear up this offense. For Hera, yeah, you're right. I mean, I'd say he has the lead right now. He's a pretty big lead. He has more villagers. He has more military. Now he can't comfortably push the max, though he is taking out a few docks. But yeah, I, I love Hera's position. He has way more navy, power of Italians. Mm. And okay, Hera, very much like him to send in light Kev. But yeah. they will not do much damage to the villagers. And I expect the light Kev to die. He will at least see that the castle is going up. Yeah, and traps, honestly, cannot really be used there, right? Mm. No matter where they try to move forward, galleons at the top can kill mm. them, galleons at the bottom can kill them. Yeah. Should Max make some fast fires here, or should he continue with Galleons? He's going only Galleons. Both players without heavy demos, so fast fires could be really good. Yeah. Especially if you catch small armies of guard. At the moment, it seems like both players are camping so much, yeah. preparing for one big clash, that I think Galleons is the right choice. I think I think this is what this is what I expect. Max, he, he's not going to fight, not for quite some time. He, he's going to... Actually, this is amazing. Oh, wait. Can Hera not... What? Hera can't get through there? Ooh. So much for a dock block. It's blocked off. That's amazing for Max. Can he? Can he? Uh, no, he he can't. might be able to dock block here, actually. Oh my god. Imagine if, if, if Viper was playing in Max's position and he was Malay, he would have like 80 fish traps <laughs> back here. <laughs> he he would have realized that. And he definitely would have gone for that. But, but, anyways, what I was going to say is I feel like. Max is not going to fight on water for a while because he knows he's behind and he wants to make eagles on land. And then when Hera reacts to this, then send in his water. That's what I'm guessing. 
Obviously, it depends on, on the numbers and the positions, but very much expect that. Hera does have a lot of his navy on the left, so might not have what he needs in the center. And okay, Max does push out now. Awesome. Just one Barrack Eagles is nothing special, but it is on Mac, or, sorry, Hera's land. The investment was oh. no two towers. Oh, he can get through. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I thought so. I, I, normally you can. I, I just yeah, it, yeah. it looked like he couldn't get through. Okay, now defensive tower trying to protect his woodland there. The raid could come in and mm -hmm. well, military numbers pretty solid for Hera. He's still controlling a lot, but it is tricky to finish an opponent off on islands, yeah. especially if you don't tag for cannon guns early. I feel like Condor Tierras hold really well against eagles. <laughs> You know, I mean, right now, the current stats, the Condo Tieros are way better than the Eagles. Uh, Hera is also disrupting this economy. He is way more eco, is way less idle, and he has the cheaper navy. Now, Max here has 21 navy. Hera has 39. That's 39. That's double the amount. He did lose uh, some units here. He lost the trip, but he has more Condo Tieros. And right now, it's looking like Hera victory, unless Max can do something to change this. Uh, towers in the center now, lots of guard towers in the center. That will give him some room to breathe on water. But he's super constricted, and I, I don't see him holding much on this left-hand side. Hera behind this, 20 more villagers on mm -hmm. wood. We have, well, 10 villagers idle for the max. He has 10 less farmers hmm. at the moment. And, well, the tower rush on this island continues. Yeah, what do you think about the archer ranges? It's almost like Max is expecting Condo Tiers to show up. So the he's selecting the or sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I got it. Well, so it's like stop <laughs> selecting Tristan. You are clicking somewhere. We can't see the overlay. And Tristan was like, um, I mean, this, the player is selecting. Like, uh, stop. Um, you realize we are talking about how many villagers they have. <laughs> uh, but but anyway, so <clears throat> I feel like he's adding archery ranges because he's expecting to lose this corner, and then he expects the condo tiers to be transported over to his side. Yeah. It's, it's interesting that he's thinking like that, but... Oh, there is a lot of towers to defend, mm -hmm. and I think he would be fine. Like, even if we have, like, 5 to 10 condos landing, yeah. the max shouldn't really take too much damage. How much wood does Hera have? Hera, I feel like Hera has a lot less wood accessible. Check this out. Oh, oh yeah. You know, and if Max can tower all of his wood lines, it'd be very difficult for Hera to finish this off. I think this is going to be a Long Islands game. Hmm. Feels like there's way more wood. And then the max has more gold. A bit yeah. more, like, more wood for like, gold and wood more. Yeah. I mean, Hera, okay, Hera has 4,000 wood, though. He's just chopped more. So Hera has 4,000 wood. Max only has 300. So that is something we have to consider. And I love this castle position from Hera. I love the treps coming in on the transport ship. So he'll begin to take out some of these keeps. I think for an island game with the Galleons, both players over Boom now. You want to have that massive army. You want to go for 80, yeah. 90 Galleons. I think Hera to win has for sure. Big fights like those. Yeah, I mean, when you're floating 4,000 wood and 1,000 gold, I think you need more. But at the same time, Hera has had more on water for a considerable amount of time. So here, Max is engaging. He's hoping the towers will be enough, but he, Hera has double the numbers. The Max now researching heated shots so that Ooh. his towers do more damage here. He already has Bracer on them, so will do quite some damage. I still feel like numbers shouldn't be fine. 39 yeah. against only 17, and Hera, he jumps on there, wants to kill those towers. Yeah, he's producing more than Max is as well. He has about double the production on water. The towers will go down quickly. This is a desperate castle for Max. Hera, I, I think, I know the castle's there, but I feel like Hera could probably just full-on engage here. But yeah, I could see why he backed up. Rushes out of... Oh, did he back off? He, he backed up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think he saw the castle fire. He, he's doing the right thing. And normally, it's a slow crawl to victory on islands. Mm -hmm. So he could actually now transport his treps to this land, trep down this castle, and then push this castle later on. Yeah, I think he doesn't even need to contest the gold island too, too much mm, now. Nah. Because, like, landing there, you always land in the range of the castle. I think just leapfrogging on the coast here, protected yeah. by your galleons, seems like a good idea. Yeah, uh, and you say, okay, Max, I have three times the amount of navy that you do. What are you going to do? You, you can't do anything against it. <laughs> slingers? Uh, I think the slingers were probably here for the condos. <laughs> Most likely, and uh, condos. Well, slingers aren't gunpowder, so they should do a lot of damage and should be the perfect counter. Yep. Indeed, they will defend this quite nicely. But, I mean, is that really a big deal here? I think the biggest deal is that Max doesn't have the water control he needs, and I don't see a way that he can get it back. Hera's Max Pop, he has so many more resources, so much more control, and Max will lose his castles, lose his buildings, lose his eco. Mm -hmm. 
It's so easy for Hera, he's already gotten all these upgrades for his galleons. He can make ranges and go skirm or go Arbalest if he really wants land control, but... He is taking to something else, as you can see, Bloodline Blast Furnace mm. and Light Calf on the way. So that will be some nasty Light Calf ratings and the max, yeah, he has some towers, but landing of 15 Light Calf slash Hussars could still do a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's not the first time you've seen Hera make Hussars. <laughs> it's not the last time you're going to see it either, believe me. I think Hera knows he has this game now. As long as he continues to do the right things, I have been struggling to see a way back for the Max. Really yeah. have. Because things have flipped. Yes, Max has a little bit more gold. Uh, he gained that from the center, but Hera, the only disadvantage he has is actually the lack of wood. But that would mean that Max would have to hold on for another 30 minutes for that to become a factor. That's what he's here for, I believe. <laughs> it is. So. If, if, honestly, you can take a look at the game timer. If we break the 80 minute mark, the Max will win. Everything before that, most likely Hera. Yeah. I think it's very likely that, that Hera will, will get some. It's actually the population, nearly. I think if, if Hera, he's probably hesitant, but maybe if he deletes 10, 15, 20 villagers for some pop space. <gasps> Look at this, Tristan. What? The huge migration. Oh, oh God. How many villagers? Where That's are they? on the right hand side of the oh. island. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I guess they're going to wood, right? Yeah, they're going to wood and. Uh. and Four farms, yeah. That's <laughs> like 60 villagers, okay? We heard um, here, we got nothing to do here. Maybe we find some work somewhere else. Just to, just delete a few of them, you know? Just delete a few on their way. Yeah. Listen, yeah. there's not enough jobs. Oh, he's doing it! He's doing it, you animal! How <laughs> dare you? No, that's right. I think you should do that. Yeah, I think they're you should even delete 20 more. Yeah, yeah. They're not worth it. Yeah, and now, now suddenly he has... Uh, 80 pop space, 85 pop space for military, and a lot of that's going to go and hit Max's land. Okay, now going back, the Max. Oh, landing with more condos. Now wants to take this engagement. 23 against 53. 50. It's that crazy. should be pretty one-sided. Yeah, it's really hard to tell sometimes uh, because the units stack like this, but I think Max knows, right? Surely he knows. He probably spent the last 10 minutes trying to mass this Navy, only to find out that he still doesn't have enough to deal with what Heron's thrown at him. It hasn't gotten better for Max. I feel like it's gotten worse. And now he has the perfect counter against the Condos. Did build all the Slingers. Yeah. Not too cheap on gold. And yeah. now we just have trash units, Hussars, that will completely wreck them. Yeah, I think Hera might need a little bit more food long term. Now nah, he has 45 farmers. It's fine. Uh, and, and Max will, will try and expand to the left. He can't do that. It's a slow, slow crawl. Speaking of slow, let's try to speed up, Tristan. I'm, I'm trying my best here, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so now some more towers there, and we're trying to regroup a bit more here. Trying to speed up more, so that we are trying to get life. Yeah, we should be close. Okay, now the next big engagement the, is... I think the towers could help. Uh, if Max... If Max are the towers in range? We have some traps a bit on top of the screen yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. He, he can't push the towers. He can't push the towers further. Right, like he wants to tower here so we can engage this, but he can't because of those trebuchets. Yeah. It's really oh, smart thinking. What is in the transporter? What is he doing there? More here? traps? More traps, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's the angle he's trying to How find? How far was I behind here? Oh, oh. there we go. Welcome in the present. <laughs> For now. <laughs> <laughs> Soon we'll be in the past again. <laughs> there's there's blue everywhere on Max's, Max's island. Max has so many idols, 20 idols. He does have a, a good population, but... Hera, he's in the driver's seat. And again, Max engages. He has 31. He thinks that's fine. No, there's 57 here from Hera. And Hera's so confident. He says, hey, I'm just going to drop these trebs off at your base, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm going to take out your castles, and I'm going to take out your towers. I think he will mind, and we'll have a pr proper yeah. trap defense against that. Even more traps are coming. Six of them. Oh, this Six is going to be them. close then. Yeah. First trap is really low already. The other trap should fire back. There are three traps to defend here for the max. That's in range of the castle, of the towers. I think the max should actually hold this. I'm not so sure. It, it's still 50 navy versus 35. The castle will fall. We do have masonry behind this as well, so yeah, the max yeah. is holding a bit longer. Traps after this should probably die behind this, and that oh. was 1.2k gold as well. Okay, so Harry has to take out these traps quickly. Has to take out the traps because the numbers are close. Max also needs to get his navy, not on the Hussars, as he's losing villager after villager, but on Hera's navy. Oh, big water fight still continues here. Hassa rates, as you said, the max is dropping below 80, but just tries to keep be, uh, above 140. It is this tricky is for him. This is interesting. Max might actually be better off after all of this. 
And he's lost a lot of population. I understand that, and I'm hoping he can find a way to do. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty bad, but on water, on water nearly. Not oh. a single villager left on gold. Yeah, he has 90 yeah. gold left. And there's more from Hera. Hera's done a great job reinforcing. I, I saw this group, figured, oh boy, this is good for Max, but. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. that production from the Canadian. It's just out of this world. Look at that, how many docks he is using there. He's yeah. taking the next engagement. The yeah. Max took one good there together with the castle and, and more the hustlers. towers. He's producing out of everything. He did not give Max an opportunity to breathe. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. It did cost a lot, but... Now I'm looking at it. I thought I thought he was in a better position. Look down, he was 120 pop. Now he's below 100. That, yeah. That's in the blink of an eye. Yeah, that just shows you how active Hera was with this raid. Yeah. As you can see, all the red map is completely full of blue. Impossible to defend. What yeah. a beautiful, beautiful game here yeah, by Hera. Hera throws in the fishing ships as a bit of a meat shield near <laughs> the end, as if to say, I don't need them. And great game. A second game in a row that Max went out of the box against Hera. And Hera definitely struggled more that time around, but I think he played well. Uh, in my opinion, it all comes back to the one time I mentioned Max needed to switch back on water and take out the fish. Hera had eight fishing ships with one fire galley to defend on the left. And Hera didn't have access to gold. I mean, the reason, the only reason that Hera was still in the game was because of the fish. Yeah, but also, like, we say it is so easy, yeah. but... We have the mechs sending nine villagers forward, yeah. four villagers on stone, you have villagers on wood, you want to keep your eco running. It is not that easy to add dogs to go on to gold sure. and for sure. try to go for fire galleys on your own. Yeah, it's a, it's a very big commitment, right? So you kill a villager or two, but your economy falls behind because of it. I think Max bought seven or like 600 food, so uh, his food eco definitely wasn't there. Now, you know what's funny to me? You mentioned the ECL game between Viper and MBL. Yeah. In that game, MBL did the same thing that Max did here, and Viper had six, fish, six to seven fishing ships out and about fishing, and MBL had an opportunity to kill them as well. So either this happens every time, or that's the one thing that the Inca players need to think oh, about. Didn't MBL have like eight fire galleys and just yeah, patrolling yeah. one screen up top? <laughs> he didn't that see was it. so painful. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was definitely a lot more obvious in the MBL game, because uh, Max didn't have quite as much navy. but. Yeah. It's funny how those two games uh, played similar. out so similarly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is not easy. We will take a look at the statistics. 338 kills for Hera, 252 deaths. Uh, largest army was 98. That was after he deleted those villagers, which was the wise move we were calling for. And he had more food, more wood, more stone collected. And he did not have as much gold collected, but his upgrades were so cheap. His upgrades were so cheap, he could mass so many more units and obviously would have had the center gold control. Uh, he would have won the game regardless. And with the gold, he bought food. Yes. So actually, you think, oh, he had two more, okay, more gold. How did he run out of gold before Hera? Yeah. Because that was actually food eco. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of eco balancing there. Still love the game. That was really interesting. I'm, I'm cool with that. Love the out of the box strategy. Loved how Hera adapted. Now, I spoke to Yo and I spoke to Viper separately before the series, and they both said that they thought that Hera is in good form and uh, would win this. And it's 2 0 right now. And we'll next be going to the next home map of the Max, and that would be on Mediterranean. <clears throat> so, um, Mediterranean. The uh, obvious choice, the thing Persians. we saw so much was Persians, but <laughs> I don't think the Max is really in the Persians mood today. I really hope he doesn't pick Persians, because those games are so long. <laughs> that, that was a special one. The other ones, we had like very active ones for yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. like with the landings. We had like super wild games as well. I think this was the only really stalemate game that we saw, so I, I wouldn't be too scared. I think I mean, Maddie is... Surprisingly entertaining so far. Uh, no, I'm not saying it's not entertaining. I'm just, and it's not like I have anywhere to go. I'm here to cast Age of Empires. <laughs> it's not like I'm going home. So, uh, but yeah. Uh, Hotel closes at midnight. <laughs> like Hera, you know what, Hera? He casted earlier. He casted that two hour game earlier. He's mm -hmm. probably sick of Mediterranean. He's going to go for like Vietnamese, at, you know, something YOLO and just get the game over with. Oh, he learned a lot yeah. of how army compositions should be designed there in the end. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I, I personally think Max is going to pick Persians. I know that he's not in the Persians mood because in game one and two he went for something different, but I think Persians is a clear pick. He's really good with Persians, and he's two, two games down. As you said, there's huge benefit to win this best of five because then you can go straight to the semis. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll let's, find out soon. Let's theory craft. In case the Max knows slash predicts that Hera will go for Persians, what do you think is the best counter? Uh, on Mediterranean? I mean, Tata tried Mongols, 
Mm -hmm. And uh, Mongols, you, you switch to scouts, but I think giving up water is too, too poor. I personally think Persians is the best, so it's hard for me to, to think of a counter pick. What about you? Like, I, I thought maybe you could go for it Italians here, because you have Italians open, but Italians can't keep up with the mobility of Persians on land. What do you think about Japanese? On Mediterranean. It's a possibility. I still think you have, um, like maybe if you slow the game down by landing and going forward, be very max like to go like monk pike push or something while booming behind. But uh, I still personally like Persians. If you're thinking late game compositions on land, because uh, water is not really that important, Persians are still better with the trash bows and uh, the cavalier and the hussar rage. Japanese, they lack armor upgrades and they're on their like cav, they just yeah, I don't love it. But aren't they good on water? Like the start should be similarly sure. good. Yeah, you could you could definitely beat Persians on water with Japanese. I think the worry is there's so much more land on Mediterranean. If you look there, <laughs> you could see there's a lot of land on Mediterranean, and quite frequently the Persian players are taking advantage of that. So yeah, I agree. Japanese. If I were to pick any sieve other than Persians, and I think Hare will go Persians because he's a tryhard and always pick the best sieve. But um, if I could pick any sieve other than Persians, maybe and it is Japanese. And the show match Viper against Liri that we mm -hmm. saw. Liri actually went for hunts on this map. Well, Liri loves pretty, hunts. Pretty sick pop twenty three build up there. Oh yeah, wasn't it Mongols hunts? It was though? Mongols against yeah. Viper. And Viper lost. Yeah, Viper. They both had a pretty sharp Viper. Docket. Viper lost water there. It was interesting. Yeah, that was a good game. Maybe Hunts. You said that Hera was going to pick Hunts, but you think Hera might save that for I like think Valley or, it's or pretty likely Valley Sinotis. slash the notes pick. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, I got that. And yeah, we have the confirmation there. We yeah, will yeah. see a mirror that we already saw today. We <coughs> are searching the game, and we'll see. <coughs> Or we'll jump into the action. The civilization that we discussed so much, indeed, is also by them considered to be the strongest. Woo! Okay. Persian's War, let's go. Hope it's not two hours, but hope it's an amazing <laughs> game. Uh, welcome, ladies and gents, to game number three. Hera is two games up. He is on the road to a free path to the semifinal in NAC3. Oh, oh, I love Max's build here. I wonder if Hera will do it. Hera, is that a lumber camp build? Or that's, is that a dock fill? Oh, wow. The Finns started doing this build. Persians, you start with more wood and food. And look at this. He's going for the early dock. Hera's doing the same thing. He's prepared. I think it makes sense to quickly change into my POV because we are zoomed out a bit more here. And sure. look at how beautifully those two dogs are. <laughs> like very short distance and the distance between them yeah. isn't really that big here. This isn't going to be a two-hour game. This is way too open for it to be a two-hour game. I just love how... Hera knows what he's doing here. He, he's gone for the early dock. He's obviously watched the Finns play before. This is only possible with Persians. Uh, no lumber camp, but <laughs> you're able to if you use some flexibility here. Uh, go for a dock and an early fishing ship, and fishing pays off. Interestingly enough, Hera has three on wood. The Max plays it with five on uh, three on food, and, and the Max yeah, plays it with five. Max was oh, also pop, pop locked. He was also housed. So uh, I think look at look at Hera. It's a total mirror, both popped and popped dead. <laughs> I think there's a weakness to this strategy that the players have, have run into. That's all right, Hera's getting loom. It, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Well, yeah, the dock position, positions are really close. I think one thing we'll have to pay attention to in Dark Ages, do they stay on stragglers for a while and go for the second fishing ship, which is 75 uh, wood? Mm -hmm. Or do they build a lumber camp? delay that second fishing ship, and then have more later on with the efficiency. It also, uh, I think I most of the time try to depend on how many stragglers do I have super close to the city. Yeah, yeah. In this case, Hera has two. If we take a look at the other side, it feels like two as well. You yeah, have could about consider all. the other ones yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. Something's really funny out there. It has to be us. <laughs> we're we're okay. hilarious. The question of questions, every time we play Mediterranean, what does the pond look like? Oh. This is more of a question for Dave. Yeah, I, I don't think my I don't think I'm creative enough to pick something here. What is it? Mm. Do I see a brain? Maybe. I I don't know. I wish you would have given me a heads up on this. I would have thought about it, giving me a few more minutes there. I don't I don't know, man. I mean, I'm disappointed I haven't cast Arena with Dave yet because we've had some excellent conversations about that. <laughs> so lumber camp, and no lumber camp yet for Max. I also know fishing ship. 
Well, he needs no, to he's going for the lumber camp. camp. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah makes yeah. a lot of sense. Did find three extra ship at the bottom. So that will yeah. probably help him with the transition into Carflage. Ooh, ooh, and what will Max find here? Will he see the dock? He sees the dock. So he has not found Hera's economy yet, but he knows the dock is close. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, both of them, they're, they're sheep swapping at the moment. Uh, oh. Both sheep are just passing. Indeed. I'm really interested to see, did Hera find the dock? I believe he did as well. And yes, he did. Is this whole game just going to be back and forth, back and forth, Absolute same mirror. thing? Yeah. Should Man. we just call it a draw? Yeah, I mean, seriously. Move on to the next game. Okay, Jeez. now seven on wood by the max. That feels like a lot to me. I think, I think he's going to transfer. I think he's going to go seven on wood. Oh, chat says Australia. Australia? I think I think it's we finally stream at a time where Australians can yeah, do yeah. and I, I want to be important. Yeah, let, yeah. Let me <laughs> let me see. Does this look it's like It's actually not too, it's not too bad. No, look, does this look like Australia? Oh yeah, it does. It does it? What? Yeah, that's Australia. I'm going to take your They're word right. for it. Yep. Way to go, chat. <clears throat> Way to go. <laughs> Second fishing ship for Hera, third's on the way and fourth is on the way, Max. Second just now arriving, so I'd say it's slightly better for Hera. Good scouting. I'm really interested. Not in water. Water's boring. I'm interested in seeing when the land switch comes in. Water is very important, but when there's this many resources. Oh! Oh! One more day. Oh! That would be ugly. Okay, Hera will save his scout. Ooh, but losing so many HP could be really bad as well. Yeah, he's also housed at the moment. The Max already lost his scout. Did, did you say that? What? Well, but I was looking at Australia. Freaking Australians, man. Tristan, Jeez. you're the main caster. Man, I, you're the co-caster. You're supposed to look at that stuff. Sorry. We'll talk about this later. Sorry. In, in my world, he the, the scout killed the TC. Yeah, yeah. Everything was upside down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Woo. Hopefully this game isn't two hours, because this is only going to get worse. <laughs> uh, 25 population, or sorry, 25% of the way for Hera, 15% for the max. No surprise that both players will be going to gold, because the fishing ships are very important. And so far, it seems like uh, an out-and-out water build for both of them. And yeah, I think Hera will be in the position to transition to land earlier, right? I mean, let's, let's say that Hera ends up losing water. If he goes land, Max might expect it, but he won't know what it is, and he won't know where it's coming from. Wild approaches here on water. Yeah, Hera is obviously having a huge information advantage, yeah. right? He sees, he can scout, sees two dogs. Yep. The Max plays two dogs with two fishing ships. On the other side, Hera, three dogs, no, yeah. two dogs, but four fishing ships. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a better build. I, I believe it was Max who did this first, right? I'm not too sure. Uh oh, but Tristan, yeah. bottom corner. Oh, I love the Max. And I love Her the Max. Hera will have zero intel. Uh, oh, I love the Max. Hera, oh no, Hera might lose his scout. He's running into the oh. TC. No, he won't lose it. He won't lose it and he'll gain a sheep. May okay, in what world? Did he? Oh. Did he? No, no, he didn't. He's going for it. Don't <laughs> tell me he's trying to name the goat. <laughs> oh, the TC oh shot it. <laughs> oh my God, that was great, <laughs> man. That was great. One of my favorite clips of all time is when Tati ran his scout underneath Vivi's TC in a team game, and, and she, like four sheep died. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh. Anyways, someone out there is gonna have the clip. Australia, you'll find it. All right, you weren't you weren't online at the time. Uh, but but uh, we love you, Australia. So I, I think Max. Like, here's the problem. That's a 175 wood investment into that dock. You're already behind in fish. I mean, not dock, sorry, barracks. You're already behind in fish. You're likely to lose water now because you committed less. I mean, Hera's approach is the safer approach. I appreciate the out of the box strategy, but I fear for Max. <gasps> What's going on? Oh, are you kidding me? Did Hera scan or? The spider senses. No, we... if he scans, he instantly built a tower. Did we I... yell too loud? I don't think so. It could have been easily the scout what, but, move. But, okay, let, let's let's think about it for a second. What could we get excited about while they're both on the way to feudal age? <laughs> there might be a, like maybe he's like, hold on a second. About, the Austra <laughs> about Australia, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, maybe the casters are really excited, and I should check. Or that's just really damn good play. He sees the archer range well, now. Uh, like I can tell you why he's uh, new. Mm -hmm. He n saw no barracks, and he saw that the Max did put his first fire galley oh. in the dock. You never do that if you go it's full possible. water. It's possible. There's been instances where uh, Hera has had to deal with landings. There's been ha instances where Hera has had to deal with someone switching off of water, and he's, he's reacted really well. I have to speed it up here. 
defensive barracks now. Most likely the archer range to build some skirmishers for a spearman should not get anything done. Yeah, what what do you think Max is thinking now? He's like, wait, hold on a second. He hasn't towered this? He hasn't tried to wall this? He's just letting this happen? Really interesting to me how, how Hera has not oh, done much and oh <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. That's, That's interesting. Oh. Well Hera should add fish now. Hera should add fish, Hera should add skirms, and I think Hera's more than fine. Yeah. I, I think I just don't see how this works. Yeah, neither do I. I think if you lose your scout you cannot really go for, and you know your opponent has the scout. Yes. You cannot try to surprise your opponent. Yeah. He will always have the scouting intel. Either you play the meta and go full dog and kind of hope that your opponent is doing the same. Yes. Or you take the full control in your hands and just take four or five villagers <laughs> to the front. But this is so weird to me. Hera, like, he's off his gold now. He's known about this for a long time. Now yeah. adding some archers. I mean, you're definitely right about that. Hera would have been more in the position to sneak. How, by the way, how good has Hera's scout micro been? These archers have been weakened just by that weak, that, that already weak scout. That's so sick. Yeah, he yeah. came in there with like 18 HP or something. Yep. He did two hits of only. Really sick. And well, Hera, I think he can just move to the left-hand side. He saw the gold at the left-hand side as well. Yeah, so he'll move there. He's going to have plenty of food eco. I expect him to get fletching soon. I wonder if, if there's anything Max can do here to switch it up. You know what the play might be? Heavy on gold, because you're not using that gold much any, anymore. Mm -hmm. Buy food, and maybe get to Castle Age faster, and keep this villager, who we're going to name Jim, alive. Okay. Uh, let, let me think about it. Uh, if he buys is, is his way up, he has farms, right? So he's thought about it. He's off... He's off of um, his resources. He'll buy his way up and maybe just go knights. Okay, some really uh, knights would be so so good. Hera now needs to send his scout to the front, and mm -hmm. well, needs to get some intel. And indeed, the stable is coming down yeah. here for the max. It is very likely. 500 food, 160 gold. I feel this is even the spot where selling 200 stone makes sense. I was thinking the same. I'm really surprised he didn't. But what has been the important unit in the game for Hera? That scout. That scout, man. It contributed to a goat kill, too. <laughs> it's seeing everything. And now he knows, all right, either Max is going to add scouts or Max is up. And I think Hera needs to wall like a madman. If he expects Max to be up soon, he needs to wall like a madman to keep those knights out. What's the female version of Jim? Jim Angela? I have Jim Angela prepared for you at the top. And she is going, no, left-hand side of the pond. What? Left. Oh! Is Hera gonna find that too? Uh, don't tell me. Wow! It feels like he's hacking or listening to us or something. Jeez, man. I mean, that dog's still going up. And Max knows how important those fishing ships are, so maybe it won't be heavy nights. Maybe it will be fires. But how? He's running into seven already fire galleys yeah. before that. Like, it's pretty much impossible for him to even get onto that. Even if he tries to take into fire ships, the fire galleys should so heavily outnumber him. And you, as you can see, Hera knows how important the water is and queues up more. But I feel like Hera's eco isn't very good. I mean, uh, sorry, let me take that back. It's not suited for clicking up anytime soon. And, and is Hera adding scouts? Hera's adding scouts. That is so weird. He, he, I think he's expecting scouts from Max. He didn't expect that Max would market abuse, and it's probably the first mistake from Hera. But he did scout like seven eight farms, he yes. did scout the market, he did scout the stable. Yeah. And when do we ever see an early market and the pro opponent is not trying to get to fuel yeah. castle? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe he wanted free carto? Hmm. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that in just a bit. Maybe trade. That's the question. In the two-hour Mediterranean game, one of the guy... One Were the, the two markets close? No, no, no. Absolutely oh. not. But one guy in the chat was like, why aren't they trading? What if they had a mini agreement? <laughs> <laughs> like, we will trade starting this minute. Uh, Hera's scout, which God, I don't see this doing much. Um, it's it's run in underneath the town center. Hera has a small counter. A one knight will clean this up. And, oh, good micro from Hera. Can he snipe the villager? Ooh, Hera snipe. Nope. Nice. Saved there. And what is Jim doing? Only the blacksmith. Uh, this is This is definitely a potential siege workshop. Uh, monastery push for Max later on. He loves that style push. 
Okay, let's take a look. The two scouts are now trying to dive under the TC. Ooh. Want to get some intel out and want to see, okay, are what are you doing? Are you adding uh -huh. to yeah. CC? It's possible there's weak fields. Harold would totally go for this. He tries and he, he fails, but it was a nice move. And also, I love how he's running around and you know he's going back for that too. Such a micro nerd. Oh God. And yeah, well, that was some forced idle time. And well, the Max, he has to stay on his toes there. Max, Max need, oh, you know what? Demos? Hera could, Hera could lose all of his water now. If uh -oh. he's not careful, Max has so many demos. Check this out. Max is about to complete, I think he was about to complete his, uh, I thought he was getting work alley. Was he not? The Max? I, yeah, I think he canceled it for something. I think he finished it. Did he? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's I'm what I would have blind at times. But three demos? Let's three demos and three fires, that is a lot of power. So the ideal thing is now to send one fire ship in, yeah, lure sacrifice. the rest in. Oh! That wasn't too bad. Oh, good connection. Did connect with the first unit though. Ooh, the second one was really sweet as well. Yeah, but, but like you said, sacrifice one. Max wasn't paying attention. It wasn't the best micro. Hero just needs to hold for another minute or two till he's in castle age. I Those think up. he'll be okay. Close. What? What? Fish trap? What is he doing? What is that fish trap into no man's land? What? He is pulling a fish trap next to the water. Look at that! He's just running in there. Oh my goodness! Why did he <laughs> pull a fish trap? I, I don't know, man. You gotta <laughs> trap the fish real quick before you lose your control. Was he trying to block something or what? Maybe like, oh, a demo is coming in. Quick fish trap. The quick wall on wall or what? New meta design. Oh my god. <sighs> Does that work? That's gotta work a little bit, right? 90 points. 97.1% yeah, won't believe yeah, yeah. how he, you defeated 60 that. 60% of the time, every time it works. Oh, okay, okay. But Hera, Hera has weathered the storm. He has weathered the storm. Oh boy, as I say that, a knight and a camel trotting into the base of Hera. Ooh. Hera now reaching castle. It's though, should build two defensive yeah. camels, I thought. But it is knights, bloodlines, forging, plus one defense, everything mm. on the way. Yeah, there's some archers and there's a spear here. So I think Hera will at least know what's going on. I uh, will now go to the double POV. Uh, Hera reacts. Does he have enough to deal with this? He loses one vill, and Max is just going to get away from here. Man, that fish trap is still. Uh, we have to ask him. <laughs> interview, okay? We have yeah. to ask him in the interview I, about that. I think that he fish did trap. cancel it now. And yeah, he did. Yeah, he is pulling somewhat. He sees. Oh, that's actually in the direction of Jim, and is trying to get in there with his girl, with his scouts as well. The Max with some quick walls. Yeah, yeah, quick walls from Max. Uh, expected to see Hera micro-nerding, and uh, those scouts are going to be dealt with. Max has had a lot of idle time because of that, though. Both TCs were garrisoned there. It's 49 total eco for what the match, and it's 47 for Hera, but Hera still has control of water, and he did take a big hit from a demo there, but he's doing fine. Well, he has control on water, you say, but at the moment, fishing ships four on shorefish. Yeah, it's not nothing crazy, right? Nothing crazy, indeed. Max Villager making a count. monastery. Well, I like that, and well, KD pretty even, villager count pretty even, Hera heavily ahead when it comes to military numbers, but yeah. that's a lot of army that doesn't excite me too much. Yeah, and I feel like Hera, he's going to miss those scouts. Uh, maybe he felt like they were trapped here, but he needs to use this scout and any other scouts he has for the monks that Max will be creating. Max will heal up his knights and camels, and he will boom. Uh, he's on two TCs, and is he on three? No, he must have. Oh, he just bought stone. He must have sold some earlier, and he will go to three town centers. I Nothing think, from this villager in the south, though. I think Persian Wars and Frank Wars are the key wars where I feel keeping your scouts alive is just so valuable yeah. because Monk Edition feels so natural, and mm -hmm. then sniping the monks is just so much easier with Ooh, scouts. Wow, right. look at that. Hera must have taken a really good engagement there. A knight and a camel going down. Wouldn't have ever expected him to fight. Oh, oh, the scout, the scout. What did we just say? The scout oh. comes in and. Just passing. Uh, oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what is happening? Oh, what are you doing? No! no. Oh, oh. Oh. All right, now qu quick wall in the monk, Max. Because <laughs> the knights are coming. Oh no, Max, this could be so bad for you, dude. Oh no, quick wall. Oh! oh. That was sick. So and you know what? Bond. Max gets a conversion. He runs back. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, that monk is. Uh, that camel's very confused. And then Hera deletes it. I oh, convert. Man. I convert you back. And then get. Uh, Can somebody gif that? <laughs> like, I need. I need to see that again. Uh, the scouts, as you said, so important. This monk will be taken out. This monk will be taken out. No, Max. What's going on? Oh yeah, yeah. The Max ahead of villagers actually did he is, do yeah. pretty well, but. Um, <laughs> 
Can you take a look at the military count? It's pretty crazy. 24 to 1. One knight at the moment and who has oh, sniper yeah. attempts under the TC? <laughs> he keeps choosing the wrong villagers. It, <laughs> it's, that guy wants it so badly. Uh, yeah, I would prefer. Well, let me ask you, Nilly. What would you prefer to have six more villagers and two military, or six less villagers and 26 military? I prefer six more villagers and 20 more villagers. And military. another monk. Goodbye. Beautiful play from Hera. And, and I could. I could see him at some point maybe taking control of this hill. Both of the stones are there for Max, the gold is there for Max, so uh, Max is going to be pretty far away from any defensive castles. Ahara will definitely prefer his position. And Jim, uh, this, this sneak villager didn't accomplish much except maybe slow Max down a little bit. The Max was saying he has more villagers, but well, a lot of idols because he has to put them into the sea. Yeah. And look at the top TC, the wood not really that efficient. Oh, Look not that. efficient at all. Do you go for a fourth here? I feel like you can consider going for a fourth as Persians, especially if you feel like you're behind. Ah, but you're behind and you're like so much as I did. I think you need to go for more army. Oh, do you see this? Do you see that play from Hera? Will it work? We was trying to block and he oh, gets the conversion. Oh my goodness, that block, that second he bought himself, that millisecond he bought himself, means that that monk continues to survive. Hera's up two games and he is looking dangerously good. Indeed, and he wants the spot in the semifinals. Oh! The Max now in the back of his base, going for the triple barracks defense. What? In the back of Max's base, okay. Yes. <laughs> oh man, so pikemen, that's never a good sign if you're switching to pikemen. It just means so much food and wood is being invested in the castle age. Hera could just add siege against that. Look again, Hera microing the weak knight away, uh, just to heal it here. It's perfect, and now mm. he'll have the scouts available to take out the monks. Yeah, and pikemen, it is somewhat the defense, but I see two problems with it. First of all, you can never attack. You cannot go to the other side. Yeah. And, as we said several times, the next unit person player is attacking into is Crossman, the yep. perfect counter to the Harbidius. Exactly. It's a desperation move. This has a, a feeling of inevitability about it. Harris playing so, so good. He will take out a monk, and both monks, oh, without any conversions. And the monastery's down. Yeah, it, it's been so good. Like, I can't say how good he's been. Because it's been near perfect, man. But it's been near perfect. La since last time we checked, the Max doubled his military. Yeah. Or even five triples. <laughs> I mean, that sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, uh, just win three Pike Max. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we should hype up our show matches. We should start with a $10 show match and we should be like, double the prize pool yeah. of last <laughs> week. $20. Choo <laughs> choo. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I feel like Hera at worst is going to have to back up once he sees the pikemen but Hera is, is on his way to imp oh man he had so much control his villagers worked the whole time behind this yeah. as well right completely uninterrupted Sick eco play. and yeah I, I couldn't be more excited to see Hera play and perform even more games in the future here yeah this is sick man it's been it's been really really good <laughs> like do you feel like there's a lot of differences between how viper would play like not to not to like you know get too crazy. I know Viper's in the other room. He won't like this, but like he's done the meta, right? He won water. He scouted the landing. He scouted the stable. He's yeah. gone monks. He's got conversions. He sniped everything. I mean, I think it's Vi sick. Like Viper is the guy who would be a bit more greedy on water. I would feel. And Probably. Maybe. I think he would have defended a bit more, like earlier 30C, maybe a bit more archers, and I think a bit more like smaller walls at the sides. Yeah, I think I think maybe Viper would have eco transitioned to have a slightly faster castle time as well. But you know, we'll I see. hey, hey, who who will the semifinals be potentially? <laughs> <laughs> but I also actually think that Hera's approach is better because he was punishing the max very low yeah. eco so much more. Yeah, uh, very low military. And, and look at these archers. All right, making use of some few lage archers and max. Has to re he has to build a panic TC because of five archers. That is not a good sign. And also Hera, while he's on his way up, is he taking any risky fights? No, he's just falling back to his hill and will play defensive. Four more conversions, four conversions. Here of pikemen. That's just we can saw your army so so much yeah. more. Yeah, he is now at 15 military, but well, he's losing more and more control. The Max taking a look at his <laughs> look resources. Look at Max built the stable there. Oh. <laughs> Max is like, all right, it wouldn't be Max without uh, buildings and corners. All right, it's not a Max series without it. Hey, uh, hey, two knights arrive. Mm -hmm. Well, this then you didn't need the stable. If you can just raid there, anyways. Ah, uh, it just doubles the knights, man. His his military count in the corner is about to go from. Two to three, this is good. 
Doubled. This is good. Oh, he's going to be four eventually, as long as he doesn't lose. Him. All right. Okay. okay. Doubled. <laughs> Nilly math. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but, uh, well, he won't get too much done. Hera's just sending mm -hmm. some knights back there. Should be the quite easy defense. Those arts are still annoying, but cleared up at, with a knight here at the very top. And I think the next step is just more stables, cavaliers, yeah. plus four defense, and probably a Rachel death. Yeah, I mean, one thing that does bother me, I, I know Hera's really far ahead, but it does bother me he hasn't even thought about stone. Like, you could start going stone now and thinking about the trash bows, but does he need it? Uh, Max is in this never-ending cycle now where pikemen are already not enough, so he needs more pikemen, he needs more castles to have any chance uh, against what's going to be Cavalier with armor. And here we go, the classic box formation for Hera. Look to him to hit, look for him to hit different areas. So as he hits this, Max addresses it, and then, oh, he's going to go to the back farm eco and gold eco as well. Oh god, and how he's splitting is just beautiful yeah, it's here. Beautiful. 40 military for him, he <coughs> saves most of the monks there as well, right now at the top. And as you said, more castle age needed. And if you play castle age against Imperial Age, you need to put on the pressure, and that's yeah. something the Max can't deliver at exactly. the moment. Exactly, he's just defending, so he's not gaining anything from this. He's just holding on. Holding on for extra gold? No, he can't take his gold. Holding on for anything in particular? No, it's a mirror matchup. It's, it's nothing that Max can hold out for that Hera can't do. And it's it's a beautiful, beautiful play from Hera. He might even he might even be greedy enough to go Paladin here, but he doesn't need it. Why not? Right, and this defensive castle will even be intercepted, and I think it wasn't at the perfect spot anyways. Yep. Hera is just so good. He's raiding everywhere. He's going for the kill. Yeah, he finishes the game, takes a swig of his drink, easy 3-0, and Hera's going to the semifinals. He, he gets a little bit of a bye, can rest, maybe hang out with me, cast a little bit. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. And yeah, that was convincing, we have to say. I think, honestly, yep. it feels so simple. But it all came down to the max scout loss. Yeah. Well, not just that. The scout loss and Hera used his scout at every time he needed to. He found the extra ducks. He found the sneak. He found the stable. Uh, he, he did everything right. It was very clean. There was not really a moment where I thought Hera's struggling. Yeah. And you could, you could actually say that in a lot of the other previous games. I think one thing that's, that's understated right now about Hera's play, his macro is some of the best in the game. If you look to the previous game on Islands, he lost both of his golds and somehow had a better eco for uh, saving the fish. You look to the Arabia game, it was the same. He had an amazing imp when he was completely open at home. His macro is insane. I'm, I'm just blown away how well he's got this one. And also players just tend to be walling so much now in tournament yeah. games, right? You're safe, but Hera, he just feels, I scout. And I only wall if it's necessary. It's yeah. not like the game plan, okay, let's get walled and play a long game and try to outsmart my opponent. Yeah. No, he starts outsmarting from the get-go. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's just briefly talk uh, what the settings are going to be like for semis and, and finals. We're talking best of sevens, mm. and then the finals would be best, best of eight. 11. That's my concern. That's my concern, because he's so fast, I think he tires quicker than some of, like, I think Viper plays a little bit more relaxed game, if we're making that comparison. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the other players, they, they wall a bit more, play a bit safer, so they might not be able to do uh, that, those technical things that Hera does, but maybe over the course of a long series, then he struggles, but I don't know. Uh, oh. There's not a lot of bad things to say right now. We will have a break in the best of 11. Yeah, okay. Half time, or like half an hour yeah. break there, we'll go for analysis just like we did in NAC2, yep. so that will be okay. And also, I think he did a lot of like eight hours, 10 hour streams as well. He's he used a to for sure. sit a lot in front of the PC yeah. and give it all. His stamina should be very good right now. Yeah, it's not like he's, he's going from being like moderately active to yeah. extremely active, indeed. Okay, I think I will send you over to the interview. Sure. And please do me the favor and ask him why or how he decided to go back with his scout in the Mediterranean. Yeah, game. I, I have some interesting questions I'm going to ask. Oh him, God, so. I need to rewatch <laughs> it then. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'll hop right over there and do that. Sweet stuff there. And Hera, we, he will take seat number two after the group stage and just just leave it, just leave it. Yeah, ah, okay. Well, we we are muting it. We, that's why we have this guy. It's, it's muted, he says, uh, as if it was standard that he does his job. <laughs> so, the Viper finishing number one in the group stage. We have 
Are we switching into another scene? No. We have Hera now being second. We have falling down, sadly, Lan, Belize, and Doubt out of the tournament. The other players will make it. And as we can see there, Mr. Yo, Tado, Liri, and the Max will fight in the quarterfinals there. And I will we'll give it over to you, Tristan, and oh, overlay guys running. And I will just... We do the transition whenever Overlay Guy is just like, no, let's go. Here. Uh, uh, uh. I already transitioned. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 he says. No, I didn't, I didn't. And Tristan's just sitting there. Look at that. He has the boss move. Like, if, you, if you're a gangster, you take a lot of space on the couch. Let's see what Tristan does. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you <laughs> what you were thinking. That would be my first question. So. <laughs> <Okay>. <clears throat> um. Oh, yeah, go. What? I'm what? What? Oh, hello. We're good? Yes. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> they, I'm supposed to see something here. This is supposed to be a professional show. The only guy had one job, actually. Yeah. He didn't do anything. Jeez. What, what is Debbie laughing at? I don't know. I just assume overly guy. As always, yeah, uh, maybe. Anyways. everyone laughs at Anyways, him. welcome back. <laughs> uh, I have the winner of that best of five, Hera, here. Uh, we're going to walk through the games. He played very well. Uh, so game one, Max picks Byzantines, and you pick Aztecs, which was no surprise to me. Uh, what was the first thing that, that came to mind? <laughs> so I don't know if they heard us the first time. I don't know either. <laughs> but I was like, GG, let's go game two. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I understand why he picked Byzantine. He was, he was expecting Britons or yeah, Mayans, okay. and that's actually a decent matchup, but Aztecs roll Byzantines every day of the week. So yeah. as soon as I saw that, I was already thinking about Island's pick, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's just make this game quick. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So we do have to talk about the game. I recognize there's some weaknesses with Byzantine. Teens, but yeah. um, your map was not good at all. Yeah. Uh, your map was really open. Uh, despite that, you saw he was walling with his closed map. And talk yeah. us through that a little bit. So, like, uh, I saw his map was insane. He was already walling, like, early on. And the danger with walling early, early on is that you lose a lot of your economy to yeah. actually make, like, your own uh, units to defend. And so that, based on me having a bad map, I decided to run forward, keep the game open, and I yeah. went with Eagles and Castle. Perfect. Now, you went forward castle. That's kind of rare. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you'll see castles defensively and then boom with that. Uh, why forward castle? Uh, I had his main gold and I figured like... I, had, I also had like 400 stone built up, so I had two options. Either I sell some and then make some TCs with the rest, or I can just make a forward castle. And I decided since I have his main gold so close and his TC as well right there, I might as well go for a uh, castle forward, take out his TC and secure the main gold. Yeah, okay. So, um, I was going to ask a question. Think about it. You got this, man. It's going to be good, whatever it is. All right. I was really... Is it worth the wait? Shut up. Uh, no, <laughs> all right. All right, so game two. Game all two right. is Islands. You haven't been doing too well on Islands. I know you're not too fond of the map. Everyone's been picking water maps against you. Yeah. Uh, and I was expecting you to pick Vikings. You did not pick Vikings. Yeah, so... I got clapped by Italians like twice when yeah, I picked yeah, Vikings. Yeah. I was like, screw that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not picking Vikings again. And like, I don't really know how to win islands ever. So I just do what everyone else does. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I, so like, I expected meta, but then I saw Incas and I thought for sure the rush. And so I was really happy because that's the only way I win that map. <laughs> You're like, yes. Yeah. He's like, don't, he doesn't play meta yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't play island meta. So yeah. Uh, I was really happy it was a messy game. I figured, like, with decision-making, it was actually super close. Like, uh, that, that was a fun game. That was, like, the it most fun It was a fun island. game, yeah. yeah. It was good. So, l let me ask you this, because, you know, I want to pat myself on the back a little yeah. bit, right? So, Max trushes you. He takes you off of gold. That's all of that. You relocate your fish and add a few more, as you typically do. Yeah. If Max just goes two dock fire galleys with his gold, do you think you die? Mm, I think if he goes two dock fire galley, then he doesn't have nearly as much on my on my land, like in towers. Yeah, yeah. And he won't be as fast to cast it. So if he does that, I'll probably just use the market to defend for a little bit. Sure, okay. Clean him up on my land and then go for my gold. So, so do you remember the port, the part where he uh, transported to the left and, and then like came back to his island and towered there? Do you remember he towered um, his shoreline? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was the part where I feel like that might have been the weakness of him. Because you had your fishing ships there. I yeah. feel like instead of thinking about transporting more vills, just keep them on eco and, and add some fires possibly. I mean, but you were selling an awful lot. You were selling yeah, wood and, and, and stone. My wood ran out of price. Like I was going to go for some scouts in Feudal Age, but then I realized like I need to get the castle fast. I yeah, need yeah. to get the siege out or the castle drop. Uh, <clears throat> at the point where he towered me, I think that was like 
uh, to deny my fish. I mean, I saw why why it was useful, and I guess it was useful to some degree. Yeah. Um, but after that, I'd already cleared up, cleaned up the threat, so it became more of a standard game, and Italians dominated. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, yeah, you were really confident near the end of there, transporting six trebs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like just to get rid- yeah. yeah, I could, I could like, hear Harris' thoughts in his brain. He's like, it's like, fucking towers, man. He's, <laughs> like, just yeah. so pissed, I'm sure. I, I was like, what's the fastest way I clear that castle? Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. was just the alpha drop through worth six it, trebs. Worth yeah. It, yeah. That All was right. actually a terrible fight, by the way. It took so much damage. It was, yeah, but you were free. pretty far ahead at yeah, that point. I just yeah. wanted to end the game, honestly. Yeah, fair enough. All right, so game three, most impressive one for me. Uh, Nilly and I, as casters, sometimes we have to talk, even though we know something's going to happen. Oh, so yeah. we're like, we talk for 10 minutes <laughs> about like how it couldn't be Persians, but no, it was a Persian war. Of course. Very different map layout though. The players were it was very mm, open, right? Yeah. So, uh, you actually went for Max's build. You went for the early dock. Yeah. Uh, talk us through your scouting because I think that was key. Well, like the first thing, like from the build, I didn't know how to do it. I just knew that you get the dock first, yeah. but then the dock was really far. Yeah, so yeah. I kind of messed up the build. I had to get loom early, which I don't think is part of it. Okay. And then as soon as I saw that we were close, I knew Max was going to forward me. I was thinking of doing scouts myself, but then I realized like who my opponent was. Yeah. And like let him attack me. Okay. And so that's why I brought my scout back to look for it. Okay. Can you... Oh, also, one more thing. I saw three on food. When I ran out of the TC to snipe the goat, I saw three on food, which means that he's not going to go crush. Ah. So I ran back right after that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So question that might be relevant or might not be relevant. I've also confirmed with Nilly that no one will be punished for answering this honestly. Okay. If casters are really loud and like Dave's voice carries, yeah. I could hear him down the street. <laughs> uh, can you guys hear the commotion? Uh, we can hear. Uh, I I use a headset, so I can't hear any words, but I can hear loud. Like I, like, I can ah. hear this, like yeah, like laughter and loud screaming. Okay, okay, because because I was thinking. So at that point, if it was a standard game, nothing really exciting would be going on. Yeah. Nilly and I saw the villain. We're like ah, and then uh. immediately like it looked like your scout came back, but oh, makes no, sense. No, no. You saw you saw his farms. I saw the which, three on food. Yeah, yeah. yeah, which meant he was for sure going land. Yeah, yeah. and, and it's farm, also max. Just, just three on goat. It's like. Yeah, yeah, you know he's going land and it's max, so you you immediately scout the corners, right? Also, we were so close, like there was every clue there. I didn't even hear you guys at that point. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I, I mean, I I wasn't accusing you. It's yeah, just yeah, it's yeah. something I wanted to bring up. So, yeah, very good scouting, man. You scouted the dock positions, scouted the fact that he was sneaking, and then you scouted his stable. I uh, scouted the redock. That was so lucky, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was just patrolling. Actually, I had no idea. You're like, oh, I'm a god. Yeah, I, was I like, didn't oh, even shit. know. And then, like, yeah, too, I just, uh, that game was just perfectly played, but, like, half of it was luck. Okay. Well, so, I think everyone has a day off tomorrow, right? Today's Wednesday? Yeah, yeah tomorrow. Everyone has off. a day off tomorrow. Uh, then you would have a day off on Friday. Yeah. Uh, I know you've always been someone who's talked about how good it is to be active. You feel like that keeps you on your toes. How do you feel about, like, going straight to the semifinals? I think, like, that's, like, the best case scenario for me. Yeah. Because after losing day one versus Viper... Um, I can only get second, like I, I have one shot to get second place. Yeah. Um, Viper obviously went like four or five zero. Yeah. And so now I don't face Viper in the quarters or the semis. Yeah. And so everyone else I've, well, I've beaten not everyone else, but like I've beaten the rest of my matchups. Yeah. And so I'm confident beating anyone in the semis and facing Viper. In yeah. Finals. Not to mention the huge prize pool difference too. I don't know what it is, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, have you resubbed my stream recently? <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm just I kidding. actually got one year in stop, so <laughs> I'm my just, bad about that. Yeah, no, I'm just just yeah. trolling you, bro. All right, well, uh, congratulations. I'll maybe. Oh, what's the fish trap? trap? Okay, you built a fish trap. Did you know that? That was an accident. It's cause it's the same hockey as my patrol. Because like, I patrol. What the, listen, I patrol what? with F, and I obviously make farms with F, and you, then obviously fish traps are F as well. And so F's now, in the chat for that. <laughs> when I select a fish trap, uh, a fishing ship by accident, I just patrol my army, and it builds a fish trap. I did in two games actually. So so, we like barely <laughs> caught it, but we were thinking next level quick wall. <laughs> no no, <laughs> like that would be wall. insane actually. Yeah, Holy like, shit! Quick wall to uh, I don't I don't know save a fishing ship or something. Or like block his galleys from like going around so I can kill them more. Oh. Hey, listen, I you did have, that. Listen, you have some time yeah. to practice. Okay. All right. We'll get you a computer. We want to see it in the semifinals. All right, especially because they're always gonna pick islands and meddling against me. So it's like the, per- the <laughs> just perfect like, time. Just, just like fish trap block your fishing <laughs> ships in in the back corner. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. Um, yeah. So I see all the the respects in the chat. That's great. So, anyways, uh, that's all I have. I don't know. Overlay guy's not telling me if I should be sending it over. Um, so we're just gonna hang out, chat, ask some questions for myself, uh, Hera, of course. I have a question for you. What yeah. was? Uh, what was your favorite series of the day? Because this was the knockout stage. Uh, so I want to say Tato and Velez, except it makes me sad. Oh, that <laughs> like, was that? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. He played like, a hell he of a series, though. He was god tier yeah, in game yeah. one and two, so it makes me so sad. I, 
I, like love and hate reverse sweeps. Yeah. Uh, like I was, I was really gutted for Lan when when the same thing happened to Lan. So. Yeah. I, I, but honestly, I think that Valise and Lan have played fantastic in this tournament. They, they, es- yeah. Especially Lan because this was, I think, his first Lan events. And or yeah, maybe like yeah, event, I know. Yeah. Event. And then one of his first competitive tournaments, and yeah. he was always the guy talking about qualifiers. We need more qualifiers. Yeah. He definitely proved that yeah, he yeah, deserves sure. to be here. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think uh, because the age scene has grown so much recently, uh, in terms of a fan base, or at least people recognizing yeah. players. Um, not that those players haven't played for a while, but there's a lot of people who are in the chat. Like type of one, if you've heard of Velez and Land for the first time over the last couple of months. Uh, there might be some ones out there, I'm yeah, hoping. Yeah, but for sure. Um, you know, recognition is always good as well. Yeah, and like the, the biggest thing I feel like when you're an up and coming player, I mean, Lan's been around for a little bit, but I feel like only in the past year he's broken the top, what is it, like top 20, I yes. feel like. Um, and so I think the best thing for him right now is tournament experience, and then eventually he'll start winning some of these, or at least yeah. placing a bit yeah. higher. Yeah, but in every single Age of Empires event, for as long as I've been around, there's been like a solid 10 players which are mm. so close behind that top five, right? Yeah. So it's always been a matter of who's going to break in. Like Viper's been number one, players getting close to that. There's a few players fighting for two, three, and four, but there's always been solid names, and I think a yeah. few people are coming up into that right now. Um, and I think over the next year or two, we might be seeing different names included in, you know, 10-man events, 16-man events. I think that's exactly what the game needs, just more top players and more players that are, like, have the passion, have the grind. Yeah. Because uh, this, this game is not easy to learn, and it's not easy to get good at either. So, like, anyone who's actually able to crack the top 10, that's a huge achievement in my opinion. You're telling me Art of War doesn't make me a pro player? Uh, I mean... N- no. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Is Art of War? Oh, the gold. Did, <laughs> you you get a, did you get a gold medal at least? Yeah, I got a gold medal. Uh, okay, not some silver boy. I mean, that's better than Viper already. Yeah, I know. I got bad. silver. He sucks. Okay, yeah, I know. Yeah. He does. I beat him. I, I'm undefeated <laughs> versus Viper in D. And, uh, and yeah. D. Okay. And you beat me. You beat did me I? the first day, yeah. Remember? Oh, <laughs> I did beat him you with t- Kamur. Oh my, you told me. Bro, he, he, we literally played a test game on voice, and he bragged about it on stream for like the week after. No, that's not true. I caught that's you not four true. times telling no, the story. No, that's not true. It's not four true. Four times He's at least. Three. <laughs> true, fine. Three. I'll yeah, yeah. you in the middle, actually. I, three. Listen, my audience, they think I suck, so they, they know it's a joke. Yeah, d- dude, they actually think you suck, though. You have to fix that a little bit. Like, you actually <laughs> way better than they think you it's are. It's all right. It's all right. It, you know. I heard you got a win versus Viper, though, on YouTube as well. Yeah, not bad. He, he tried to fish trap me. It's not. I know. He was tryharding, for sure. Yeah. He was trying to the, Dude, the, the comments were the best because you have people who were like, T90's ego's gotten so big, he thinks he actually beat the Viper when I'm obviously trolling. <laughs> yeah, then yeah. you have someone who's like, Viper's slipping ever since he like moved to Germany or like <laughs> all these different theories. The, Listen, yeah. Viper's good. I'm, I'm okay. Fine, okay. Uh, oh, we'll set up with okay. Cool. I was going to say something, but I guess okay is fine as well. Yeah, that works. All right. Um, oh, it looks like we're going to yeah. continue to have conversation here. Dude, Nilly, Nilly loves having us fill content. That's what I've noticed. That's good, around. man. Yeah? Hey, before I left, I was 42nd. Are you proud of me? You're 42nd? 42nd. In the, on the ladder? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, not, that's actually not that bad. Yeah. Thanks. That's pretty good. All right, good stuff. Well, they're asking about the sheep snipe, by the way. What was that about? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so the, the so I don't think it was intentional. You... You uh, ran your scout oh, yeah. uh, perpendicular to the TC, and the arrows hit the, hit the yeah, sheep. Yeah, I, I wanted to give him the sheep so I can kill it, but then he did me a favor and killed it with yeah, the TC. Yeah. Dude, I, I remember the first time I realized that was a thing. I was playing spring, and so he started taking my sheep, and then he, he purposely ran his yeah. scout back and forth, shot all four of my sheep, man. <laughs> I was Britons or yeah. something, too. I was so pissed. Disaster, actually, yeah. with Britons. Yeah, th- that thing is so tilting, because like, not only do you not kill his scout, but you also yeah. kill your sheep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, oh, I got a Harris snipe. Did you see it under the TC in Castledge? I tried I so hard. I also saw you try like five times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I lost like five guns, but I got it after all. Oh, that was so good. But imagine if you like. Imagine if Max wins back water, and then he had like you don't have the scout numbers because of the monks. Mm. I think you were pretty far ahead at that point. But yeah, yeah I think the game sometimes might... it's just too tempting. Like I will always go for that. Let's yeah. just let's just make that clear right now. Yeah. I don't care what's happening in the game. Yeah. If I see a little reveal, I'm gonna try for it. Mm-hmm. Um, but that game could have like that game could have gone either way. But like I said earlier, I just scouted everything on time. Yeah, so. you were you were ahead at that point. Yeah, and when you're, when you're trying to do anti-meta stuff or like off-meta stuff, you need to be sneaky about it. Yeah, I think I think the format in which Max can maybe excel with those sneaky buildings is is probably like a hidden format, like like hidden cup because yeah. if you're you're playing Max. And you see that he has farms that you're like, oh, 
but Max is in the corner. Yeah, With yeah. any other player, you look in their base for the buildings. Very you know? true, yeah. He's yeah. so known for that, man. Yeah, and, and I've seen him do it on Medi before as well. Yeah, like, okay. I, I was just kind of expecting it. He did it versus Taro. And honestly, I don't know. Like, I talked to him. I asked him in the Taro series. I asked him, why did you play so unconventional? And he said that usually it works. usually it pays off. Yeah. But I feel like Max, when he played versus Theory, I think he played more standard. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like he's fine with standard play. Like, just, like, walling up, playing standard. I feel like he would have had better chances like that. I, my theory, any time a player goes completely non-meta, is that they want to gain an edge. Right. So they, he might think that you're, like, maybe 60-40 chance for you. Uh, enough where he might want to switch it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And also, I'm pretty sure he knows you tilt with a lot of towers. <laughs> so you've seen me play versus Vivi a few times. So he like, all right, let's tower rush the guy in game two. Yeah. See what happens. But. I, but I feel like in tournament, though, like, first of all, I'm not going to tilt ever. Yeah, and yeah. second of all, like, it's just so, it just feels so risky. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree. Yeah, but certain players, that's the beauty of our community, right? Certain players play it more all in, more yeah. risky. And then you, you have players who play extremely safe. I think I'm supposed to hold this closer to yeah. my mouth. Yeah, I'm not going to knock him for it. Like, he's made it work for sure. And I've seen <coughs> it work. Like, I've seen it do damage. But I don't know. I've, when, I, when I'm playing Max, I'm more afraid of his, like, boom cast stage decisions with, like, Siege. Yeah, yeah. Like, I find, I find he plays that really well. Like, forward Siege with boom <coughs> behind it. I think he's one of the best players with that. Him and Yo. <coughs> Anyways, looking at some questions here. <laughs> The troll one. What would you do if your opponent built three archer ranges in a neutral island? Why'd you read that one? <laughs> because that, that's a funny one. <laughs> it's I, not I saw, funny. I saw your video. It's not funny. <laughs> that that was my first tournament ever. <laughs> was not only my first tournament ever, my first game in a tournament ever. <laughs> that's off to yeah, the right start, I it's guess. Right, it's right. That's why people think I suck. Because <laughs> I tell people things. Oh my god. That Should not a... share certain things. Yeah, definitely. I would have hid that one forever. Dude, like, uh, yeah. That's not even worth the nah. content on YouTube or it, anything. It's like. worth it for me. I, ah. That's that's my constant state is just, you know, pointing like, out my flaws. <laughs> Three ranges on a middle island is not a flaw. We need another <laughs> word for that. That's oh something my God. different. Did you see the Reddit post where it was like, oh, what was it? It was like this far off island. It was like, the, the, if I remembered the title, it would actually be interesting. But uh, it, did you see any of the memes on Reddit? Uh, Someone created a, a like three archer range, nothing map and all. all oh, no, I, I didn't catch up yeah, with okay. that, unfortunately. Gotcha. I'm not a huge on, not huge on Reddit. I only go there to sell out, to be honest. Yeah. Someone called me shiny. I know. I'm like sweating in there, man. It's warm. But dude, the light is directly in your eye when you're casting. Yeah, I know. I I, like I said, it, I feel like the clouds are parting and like, you know, the sun is like Lord cracking. Doubt is yeah. gonna come down and be like, "I bless you." you yeah, know? yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just it's pretty bad in the in the caster booth. <laughs> T ninety, how do you think the meta has changed in this tourney? Well, that's a good question, actually. Well, that's not too bad. I don't. I mean, well, it, you got to keep each event is very very different. Um, it, both of the sieves and the maps, yeah. so like you got to keep that in mind. Here, the sieves are a little bit more open, so players have have hidden sieve free pick. I don't really think the meta's changed much. I will comment one thing, though. I think that the sieves started changing a lot yes, more. Yes, yeah. but not necessarily the tournament. I think, well, this is the first DE tournament. So, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the, the new civilizations, how players react to certain things. Yeah. You guys also played a lot of these maps on, on rated games. Yeah. So they have kind of an idea of, of how you should play them. Yeah, 